Trash Ninja, what's going on? Chef. RC. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> BVOTS. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. RC. Okay, it's nothing I can pronounce. <laughs> Mr. Sly. Ronnie. It's happening. <laughs> just uh, oh yeah the ground bouncer literally do <laughs> i'll tell you the thing it's definitely going to get some good slow-mo footage um with obviously how that how that thing runs because obviously it's not fast anyway but um again never driving um something that had rear wheel steer that's definitely uh definitely different <laughs> yeah it is cool it's definitely a lot uh, well i don't want to say it's a lot cooler than i thought it was maybe it's as cool as i thought it was it's interesting you know what i mean yeah a mock monster jam <laughs> yep i got a bunch of uh I got a bunch of old models uh, that I could just quickly build and crush. <laughs> that's probably why the tires like that. I mean, uh, yeah, you know what though? Um, but that's also a, a bad point too, though, because obviously with the way the tires are, um, you get that um, too much energy transfer if you hit something hard and fast enough. And I'm thinking, you know, if people left the tire stock like that and they impacted something, you know, at full speed, I can understand why axles are breaking and all this other stuff. But um, I already taped up uh, the inside of the wheels. Uh, the thought is just to be able to inflate them very slightly. Uh, taping those inside holes actually made a huge difference. Uh, when the truck just sits flat, um, the so right now as it is so the rear wheels i left alone because i'm doing like i'm doing like some video testing type stuff so the um the wheels are in the back <clears throat> this stock the front wheels are taped up and um just just doing that having that slight amount of air in there uh not escaping has changed uh, the way it the way it hits so which is a good thing I definitely think it needs a, a lighter shock oil though there's that link if anybody wants to jump in right now I'm actually trying to find I'm actually trying to find where my own YouTube is <laughs> always the issue can I have a fun man there we go Volumes <laughs> it's always the issue can I have a fun man there we go Volumes <laughs> it's always the issue mute it <laughs> <laughs> I can't even mute it nice. oh no mute <laughs> Oh my god. Perfect. Just the way I like it. All messed up. Jeff, what's going on, guy? What up? <laughs> oh my god. I can't even can't even still can't figure out my own live stream. <laughs> I'm getting it though. It's it's the multi-cam thing. Which, which I don't even know which camera I'm going for. I think I'm going for this camera right here. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, I see your face. Because there's, there's obviously there's three different cameras to choose. There's that one, which is that FaceTime one, which is way too close to me. This what? One, this one's better. What cameras do you use? So I've got the stock camera that is actually on the screen. Mm -hmm. The other camera is that, you know, 920 like we all have. And then the other camera is actually called a Microsoft Life Cam that I bought for... I bought for uh, our laptop. Uh, actually, no, I bought it for our desktop uh, probably like years ago. It was on a clearance thing. Mm -hmm. 
it was uh it was actually at Walmart. It was in the clearance bin bin for like five bucks. And I was like, oh, 1080. I was actually, oh, 1080 whatever life cam for five bucks. Yeah, I'll buy it. And I used that forever and I totally forgot about it. And then when I was setting things up down here, I was like, man, it would be really cool to have a camera that's overhead that would yeah. look down on projects. And then um somehow I found it. And uh yeah. I like that camera. That camera is actually not that bad for clarity. Nice. Considering that it's that old. Yeah. The thing's like, I want to say it's like 10 years old. I actually have a spare one of these, the C920s. Right. I have a second one. I think uh, I'm going to set them both up in the shed, like one facing towards me while yeah. I do like build videos and then one over top. Yeah. I get two angles. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's definitely the way to go. I am, I am liking that overhead cam you know yeah it's definitely nice when you're working on stuff yeah um but obviously with this it's not like i can add it as a second camera that's the, yeah that's the crappy part when i had done that thing you know how you were telling me to oh mute the mic it's like a wicked echo that's when i had like i like i called into my own live stream <laughs> I opened up a, a totally separate uh, stream yard. Yeah. Earl, you're in here early. Holy smoke. Shouldn't you still be at work, Earl? What, what are we doing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, so convenient. Two live streams, and they both land on the day before I'm off. So nice. Yeah, there you go. Super kind of convenient. Like planning it out that way. Uh. Those uh, late night Friday ones kill me in the morning, but man, are they fun! <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. <laughs> Why is Chef Dragon today? Oh, I yeah. was Friday. He did a live. Yeah. <laughs> Earl, you're still at work. He's he is at work. Uh, that's funny. That yeah, uh, you no, know, uh, Dan Ben, seriously looking at that DR10 drag car. <laughs> It's always a way. It's always a way to spend your money, man. I figured, I figured Earl already has a drag car. <laughs> so you see, Ronnie said he heard that TLR is going to be coming out with a new truggy next summer. No. Like, a, uh, like a nitro truggy kit. Really? Yeah, and I'm 100% going to get it. If that's true, yeah. I've been wanting to build one so bad. I almost bought the associated truggy kit today. And I was like, no, I need to see if TLR is going to do it because I want a TLR. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. What else is going on in this guy? Anything good here? One Harley is here. Oh, Grumpy One. I didn't even see a Grumpy. Been a while since you've uh, popped in. Yeah, RC. I see. I I know the team associates good, but that, did you ever see the 4.0 Truggy that TLR had? That kit. That thing was a beast. Snipe hunter, what's happening, man? What's up, snipe. It's funny every time I see him, I remember, <laughs> dude. I think you brushed the set screw onto the floor with your eye. <laughs> Ray, what's happening? Earl, it's 40 there. Lucky. Actually, it probably is a bad here. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 29 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> 29. Tonight. Yeah, today wasn't, today wasn't that great of a day. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good night. <laughs> Earl's jumping in now with that. What's going on? <laughs> What's up, What's up Earl? Oh, you know, standing out here in Hollywood, waiting <laughs> to film this scene. There you go. <laughs> you see the, the big L.A. lights and cities? Yeah, yeah. Yep. And it's cold. Yeah. Was it like 48? No, it's probably like 55. Oh, cold. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you better put on another coat. Yeah, he's, I know. He's got, he's got multiple layers. Oh, man. 
Yeah, we're going to be filming some cop cars tonight. I was going to say, I see some cop cars there. Cop cars. Uh, Austin Martin. Ooh, oh, an Aston? Nice. A little Vanquish. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. See, we're getting behind the scenes with Earl. Oh, yeah. All the work trucks. Yeah, exactly. What's up, Kurt? Oh, my awesome. rig, truck and trailer, hauling the Vanquish out. Man, that's awesome. So it's going to be a nice chase scene? No, this is the night scene, 7 p.m. here. Uh, we're going to start filming it. So in about an hour. Yeah. So you're going to have a late night tonight then? No, it's the last scene. So I started at noon. Um, picked up the car, brought it out here. So we'll start filming at 7 by 8. 8, 8.30 it should be done. After how many retakes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it all depends on how cold it gets. I if see it gets too tail. cold, then uh, they'll shoot it in one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They'll make sure <laughs> it happens. Yep. I'm not sure if you could discuss that, RC. Are you allowed to say what movie or no? Yeah, it's L.A.'s Finest. L.A.'s Finest. This one is. This is season two, so... That's crazy. I just can't show any of the filming. Right. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So. You see Earl, he's live streaming all the filming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to have this guy back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now they make a sign of contract saying no filming. Right. But Especially now. Years with ago. Ten yeah. years ago, nobody was really on social media, so yeah, it didn't we matter. posted everything. Yeah, and it's super easy now with phones and stuff. So, oh yeah, yeah. And when I did Marvel, they actually to walk on set, you have to turn in your phone. You can't walk on the set with a phone. That makes sense. So wait, what yeah. do you do? What do you do? do? Do you film or do you like? No, I I do the picture cars. So any car you see in film, that's what I do. I'm I'm basically the mechanic that keeps it going if, oh, they dude, that's the awesome. off, if, if they need the window out if they need the wheels off whatever it is that's what i do what movies you... have you worked on oh man probably everything that you've seen dude that's awesome if they need I've a time open via a button he's your guy <laughs> i've been doing this 18 years yeah so I got into it because of my auto repair store. They came in, wanted me to build some cars. I built them some cars, and they're like, well, now we want you to come, and we'll pay you to watch them. I'm right. like, what do you mean pay me to watch them? So that's how I got in. That's awesome. Yeah, dude, that's super cool. Yep. Yep, at 10 years, I, you know, I'm vested, so my retirement, medical for life, so I'm good now. Yep. Dude, that's, that's so cool, man. It's good to hear stuff like that. Yeah, it is. Definitely is. Yep. And now I play with RCs. Yeah, hey, not wrong with that. Yep. Trash Ninja wants you to hire him. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'll be your RC mechanic for you. Nice. RC Bivot, Bivots? You'll be surprised Once on how many RC cars we use and, and, uh, and drones to film the stuff we do now. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I bet. Uh, this this show we actually carry a drone van that has five technicians in it just to fly a drone and get some Jesus. shots. Jesus, that's nuts. Yep. So that's insane because you know it's funny because you know obviously now knowing you know what drones take pictures of versus what a helicopter used to take pictures of. Yes. You can now you obviously now know when it's a drone because the shots are so much you know, tighter. You know what I mean? Like yes. they're not a million miles away. You know what I mean? Yeah. We used to put uh, cameras on back of golf carts just to follow people through the woods. Right. Right. So oh. now we just fly a dr drone, a drone right That's through the, the woods. That's absolutely crazy. So things are a lot easier. And our camera truck used to be in a 40 foot trailer and now it's in like a 10 ton box because the equipment's gotten so much smaller. Yeah. Yep. It all, it's all digital now. Yeah, crazy man. We used to have a truck just for the the film, 
we used to, you know, have hundreds and hundreds of rolls of film. Yeah. Now it's rare that we ever see a roll of film, but they still do shoot some in in uh, the old style. Hey, you so you have rare. the coolest job I've ever like talked to somebody. I never talked to somebody that's like actually done real movie stuff. You know, it's funny because when I got in, I was all you know first year Google eyed and oh, this is the greatest job in the world. But if you think about it, I work ninety to hundred hours a week. Yeah. Right? So I don't really have a life. <laughs> it's still a job. It's it's a job. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, exactly. Just cool. because you're yes, yeah, just because you're a mechanic on a movie set doesn't change the fact that you're a mechanic. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. It's not like Earl's got the director's chair and he's just sitting there with his popcorn. And he's just going like this. No, nope, not <laughs> not like when my aunt was in it. Right. Exactly. A little bit, little my bit aunt, different. My aunt did a uh, bewitch. She was the yep. grandmother. Oh, really? That's why yeah. you've ever noticed how he writes things. Instead of saying witch, he says witch. Do you know what I mean? Like the witch. Yeah. Why yeah. he does that? Oh, I, I've got an accent. I got a, a typical Hollywood accent out here. Right. Ninja wants to know how he applies to be a RC mechanic for your uh, for video for your, uh, Hollywood. <laughs> For Hollywood, I don't know. Yeah, For sure, Earl. But I know if, if you them. want to do what I do, you just call the local 399 and put your name on the list. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's in every city. <clears throat> yeah, he does own an auto parts store, too. Or a shop. Yeah, yeah auto repair store, yep. Yeah. But he, he's, a, he's a man of many wonders. You have to be living in L.A. Yeah. You almost have to be anywhere nowadays. Yeah, that's true. Especially for what you do, though. Like, that's what, that's all they do out there. Yeah, all we do out here is pretty much film. Everything revolves around uh, TV and the film industry, so. Yeah, that's crazy. So what are you building tonight? I'm not building anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not working on anything. I did a, I did a video on that ground pounder. Been messing around with that. You know, it's funny, too, because my wife comes home um, just as I'm, like, picking up the wood in the in the living room. <laughs> wood in the living room. Well, I had to quickly take the wood and I, like, stuck it up on the wall or actually on our built-in. And then I just left it there. And then she comes into the living room. She sits down. And she's like, what are those pieces of wood leaning up against the, <laughs> the built-in? I'm like. Two by fours. Two by fours. What are they, what are they there for? Uh, I was driving the car in the house. <laughs> I wasn't jumping the car in the living room. Oh, no. Room, I swear. No. Of course not. No. <laughs> no, no. You know, it's funny, too, because now I'm wondering if that's what the marks on the rug were from. Because <laughs> she came over to the rug. I didn't even put this together. She came over to the rug, and she was like, oh, what are these marks? And I was like, well, I know, I know Daisy was in here chewing on her bone. But now I realize it was the wood that left marks on the rock. <laughs> wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Blaming the dog, man. Yeah. Well, I, I wasn't thinking though. I was just like, I didn't I totally just blanked out. Yeah, yeah. Daisy. He, he, he blamed it on the dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we all do. Yeah. Uh guy, you should post the live and on the Facebook too. Don't forget. Oh, what a link? Yeah, on on the Facebook just to say you're live. I think that helped out last time. I'll have to figure out how I did that. I watched RC and I think it's RC and it his video today on uh, his rig catching on fire. You got a, what? What caught on fire? Yeah, I didn't he see that. Wi he was wiring up something and oh. uh, and I guess it was wired wrong and and literally caught on fly fire when he plugged in the battery. Oh my god! So that's insane. I told him he should have uh, posted the fire. That that would have been yeah. yeah that would have exactly. been a really good uh, what is it? Picture for what is that called? If you never know if they go viral on uh, on YouTube. Oh yeah. But he said he, he posted a bunch of stuff at him. He was angry, and then he deleted it because he was so mad and he looked horrible in it. So he reposted it after he calmed down 30 minutes later. Tuck 10 said, uh, 
Congrats on 2K subs. I know, isn't that nuts? Dude, it's, that's um, all, I, that is like I even know this. Congratulations, awesome. dude. That's what big was time. crazy is that it was it was hovering at the 2K. It was like two, two hundred one, two hundred two, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it just like dumped down. And I'm like, oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, I made it to the 2K club, and then it was like stripped from me like seconds later. But then <laughs> I, after I after I woke up in the morning, it was um, it was back up, and I, I kind of thought that it would. I don't know why it yeah. does that, but. Uh, a little bit, RC Bivitz. I think it, Ar- they say uh, Earl sounds like Arlie Ernie. Arlie Ernie. Yeah. So, how long have you been doing this, Earl? You said? Uh, I've been doing this 18 years. 18 years, okay. I, I've been, yeah, I've been wrenching for 30, 38, I believe. Man. Yeah, because Earl was saying the other day he's actually only 29 years old, but. (laughs) 27. Yeah, 27. I forgot. Yeah, that's right. 27. Yeah, 27 (laughs) going on 50. Yep. Yep. (laughs) Uh, It's the life that's killing him. (laughs) Yes. Full metal jacket. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Yeah, exactly. I hear that in his voice. Two days ago, you plugged the battery in backwards, and the wires melted and smoked. Oh, wow. Yeah, that'll cool. do it. That's right. My buddy, he was working on a lipo, and he had to put a new connector on it, and he wasn't thinking and cut both wires at once. Yeah, that that oh. lipo was no more. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I called Max Amps yesterday because I did that speed run with my 6S Max Amps batteries and it came in at like 109 or 106 or something like that. And I was like, that's weird. You know, those those batteries usually, you know, give it a good punch. I was shocked. Yeah. So I checked them and sure enough, I had a bad cell on one. I had a weak cell that wouldn't balance out. So they're about a year and a half old. So I called them and they had already warrantied one battery. And yeah, they, they're like, yeah, they're covered for life. But guess how much one 3S battery is under warranty, what I have to pay? Under, under warranty? It's under warranty, but their warranty is I pay half, half okay. price. Oh, I was going to say, did they prorate the battery or something? Yeah, it's the first, if it's within the first year, it's free. Okay. But anything over a year, you got to pay half. 150. 80. You guys are pretty close. It's 100 bucks. Yeah. Hundred bucks for one battery. I'm not surprised because aren't those batteries like three hundred bucks anyway? I, I think you know, it's funny because I, I remember paying I think like three sixty or three fifty for the pair. Yeah. Shoo. They're expensive. But I did that because, you know, on speed runs when they crash, they tend to blow up. Right. How so many I, how many runs are you getting? Stable runs. On a set of batteries? Right. Uh, usually about 25 to 30. Runs? Yeah, runs. Well, not on one charge, but... That's what I'm asking you. So when you go out to do a speed run on a full charge, how it's, many passes? I should have I said passes. Yeah, if, if, you're, if you're going for top speed, yeah. it doesn't matter the size of the battery. It's basically you charge it. You do a pass, and that's it. You I see what you you're saying. Them back to back. Okay, okay. I was curious. Yeah, it's, if you're trying to squeeze everything out of it, it's one run. Okay. So, you know, I, I that's why I have test packs that I go back to back to back just to dial in the car at a slower speed, and then I'll go out once the car's dialed in, put the big packs in it, and then and then try to make the, the top speed. What do you, what do you think about those... Um... Who actually came out with that? Um, what is it? The DR10 or whatever the heck it is. The Ninja was talking about it. The tri- the uh, where is it? It was way at the top. I think it's called. I heard them, I heard them talking about something, some DR10, but by I, the yeah, I think I think he was calling it a DR10. Yeah, it was just a drag car. Yeah, by TLR, I believe. Uh, Team Associated, yep, a DR10. Team Associated. I did order. They came out with a full ready-to-run drag car. Right. And I do have it on order. Okay. 
So um, it looked pretty cool because it was all, you know, it looked real lightweight. It looked set up well, at least in the photos. Yeah. What's yeah. up, Gus? Because I'm actually thinking about doing that, too. You know, I got a it, nice straightaway in the front of my house. And yeah, ours is a private road, so. It's fun converting them, but if you can buy a ready-to-run and just make electronic changes and gear changes, yep. I think that would be better. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about right there. Yep. So, I did I did order one with the local to- hobby shop, and they it's really not that expensive. Yeah, like two fifty, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I'm anxious to see it and what changes will need to be made. Gotta get this out of caps lock. I always forget to leave that on. Current what are they going for at your shop? Or what will they be going for? Ah, oh, jeez. I swear they were cheaper than that. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they were much money. Uh, looking at three three twenty right now. Why did wow. I? I thought I looked it up and it was cheaper than that. I thought it was around two fifty. That's what I thought. Ninja and Earl are racing for pinks. They said. <laughs> Yeah, right on. Uh, well, this is absolute hobbies. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's uh, three nine. Yeah, three twenty. Jesus. Nothing much, Gus. Just hanging out. That's a couple bucks. I was watching some of your older videos today, Gus. Man, you got some uh, cool stuff going on, man. Might have to just make one. <laughs> Ninja said his cost two hundred. That price, Jesus. Cough, cough, <laughs> cough, cough. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, I see some prices on some lipos. I'm like, yeah, never. Yeah, especially those max amps. But they're point blank saying you you get what you pay for. They will custom make you a pack. They'll even they'll even wrap it. In whatever yeah. graphic you want. Yeah, yep. I, I guess when you're going like doing certain things, it makes sense. But man, is that a lot? Well, when you're when you're when you're in Hollywood, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things are a little. No, when, that's nothing. When you drive like I do and crash, on right? The front, you definitely want that warranty. Yeah, you want yeah. you want that safety net. Yep, because they don't care if there's a hole in it if it caught on fire. You just take a video of it, send it to them, and uh, they tell you to snip the end, and they mail you out a battery. Almost sounds like it's um, sounds like it's the same uh, warranty that uh, GoPro now has. We don't care oh, what do you send us, even if it's not even a GoPro anymore. Just send it to us. <laughs> just send it to us. Yeah, I might yeah, do that with this one and get a new GoPro because this one don't work. So yeah, yeah. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, the GoPro is now. Um, yeah wow right so right at associated so when you go on associated's website the car is 375 on associated so their list is 375 well that's that's with a light bow combo and then yeah okay and then three i had to scroll down sorry i didn't realize i had to scroll down on that one then when you scroll down you get it you know just the car so yeah 320 it looks like but i thought i saw it at 250 Man, guy, you like uh, Mast said you should uh, get your own branded batteries. Yeah, I do right there. It's <laughs> back, <laughs> HRB USA, baby. See it? That's funny. My own brand of batteries, guaranteed to light on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh. RC guy garage will spark you, no problem. You know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Ask Earl what his luck. I don't. I don't know how to say is what his luck all about with speed runs and traffic. Like, is your are you lucky with speed runs and traffic? 
every time I go out there, there's traffic. And that's just because of where I live. You know, I, I, you know, the first speed run videos that I was doing, I would drive two and a half hours away to get to a rural, a rural area. Um, just so there's not so many people, but then people would show up anyway. Um, yeah. The place I've been racing is about an hour and a half away. So that's still just outside the city. And, you know, there's still traffic every now and then. It's just, it's the chance. I don't have any, you know, abandoned runways or any of that stuff out here. Yeah. So, you know, I just got to make do with the roads I find. Right. Have spotters and, and, you know, hope for the best. Yeah. It's rough. But that's part of the speed run. Not everybody, everybody could just follow an RC in a car behind it and see how far it can go before it loses battery. Right, guy? We did that, we did that yeah. on the uh, salt flats out here. <laughs> yeah, the salt flats are probably awesome. Yep. Yeah. It, we actually ran it so hard to where the plastic wheel melted off the hub. Oh my god. That, that's awesome. Yep. What's up, RC in it? No, oh, there he is, RC in it. I heard that's you had a fire or something? Fire. Yeah, Earl's talking about you had a fire. They just paved the road in front of your house, Ronnie. Nice. Now's the time to do some speed runs. Yeah, before the reflectors go down. Right. No, I didn't see the X Max driving in traffic, Ronnie. What happened, RC? In it, what you? Why to catch on fire? Yeah, what what shorted it out to catch on fire? Dan Berger, you gonna post your first video? Nice. I finished the custom links and extended. Was excited. Excited to test. To test. And then. He's yeah. Like, dot dot dot. dot, dot the, the suspense, <laughs> man. Suspense. I, I'm like, telling you, that's how his video was too. He says, "I just finished the links and I powered it up to make sure it worked and moved, and then it was on fire." <laughs> It bubbled no, up all the wires laugh, going in here. That's just like... I almost had my Savage catch on fire. <laughs> I'm not sure. He said he bundled up the wires, but were there bare wires? Did they touch each other? Or was it miswired? What's RC Master talk? RC Master's already starting to start, start trouble again. Uh-oh. Didn't say hi to me. Just seen my name. Was like, oh my God, not him again. <laughs> I said hi, I think. RC Master, what's going on, man? What's up, Mass Master? You've been without your max for almost three weeks since eating for 5101 bearings. Killing you? Uh, Ronnie, no, I have the 4.6X Savage, not the 5.9. I would like the 5.9 XL, but um, the that people that have them just want man. way too much for them. I actually have. I should have a running video at some point of that four point six. Venom, we got to get you to post some links, some usable links on the RCGG site, so we can uh, hook ourselves up with some nice FPV. What you got to do is set up like what we should buy for FPV for like you know obviously people, yeah. like Chef and I, who have no idea what any of that stuff is, and just say. This is what you guys need, and then obviously throw just hit by strobes <laughs> and all. <laughs> yeah, just just put a bundle together, and be like hit right, by. Right, it. It, it's the venom bundle. <laughs> yeah, make make it idiot proof, so I can just go. Okay, right. here's my card number. I'm good. <laughs> Absolutely, that's the best way to do it. And it smoked as soon as you hooked the battery up. RC in it. And I think his was the F FPV system. Who are seeing it? Yes. Man. Dude, that sucks. I should upload the video of me partially raging 
trying not to rage. <laughs> that you should. See, Why not? See, that's that's what's entertaining. Those exactly. Yeah, Those. Hundred percent. Yeah, that's what sells. They say they say on regular Hollywood or whatever, sex sells. Well, that sells too. Explosions anything, and fire. Anything, yeah. Watching a guy get mad. fire. Yeah. It would have been nice if you would have taken a bat to it and beat it to death. Oh. <laughs> After it was on fire. Just I think you have to. Out. I think you have to have sixty vehicles in order to do that. Ah. <laughs> Holding back, so however. Or you can yeah, sacrifice one or two. <laughs> Uh, Ronnie, you got a it MGT, but can't figure out what motor as a big block T5 turbo plug. Oof. Are you part of the Ronnie? Are you on the Facebook? If so, post a picture up there of the motor. Oh, I'm Dan. I use DaVinci uh, Resolve too. It's uh, pretty easy. You go to um ex uh quick export and then you sign into your youtube and then uh when when you go to upload it it's going to ask you how you want to save it that's the title of your video and then you upload it like that it's super easy what's happening venom getting it together oh. i'm writing out that list as a matter of fact i just got nice today. nice I can, he can see it now. We could we could get Venom to be able to sell so much. He could do FPV for dummies. <laughs> Lighting. <laughs> what's that? What's that axle for? It's good looking. It's a nice uh, compatible for any size crawler. That's about one tenth. Got the front and rear carbon fiber mount for the servo, and gonna build up a custom Jeep with it. Nice, dude. Dan, did you figure that out? Because like I said, I use the same thing, Da Vinci. So it's uh, still just a waiting game for you, um, Earl? Oh, yeah. Well, I got to wipe down that car before it heads up. So it's only uh 618 so i'll stay on for about another five minutes and then i'll have to actually do some work yeah what's your question about the x01 uh if it's honestly i want to get that i would get the uh arma uh the, the truck what is actually that? earl earl might know about the x01 Oh no, that's my Eleanor. I don't know anything about it <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to know anything about it I, I paid twelve hundred twice and still don't own one. Yeah, dude, exactly. that's so upsetting. We we should like Terrible. we should get like one of those Sarah McLaughlin commercials and try to raise money so you can get another one. <laughs> do well, do we uh, do it? Do it? Go find me. Yeah. Gonna happen to it. <laughs> yeah. So I don't even bother anymore because right. I literally bought it, came home, put batteries in, charged it up, put batteries in it, went out front that same curb area. I ran it into a curb at 80 miles an hour, exploded it, <laughs> went back to hobby people with a bunch of parts in a box saying, can we fix it? And they said, buy another one. So I bought another of one. Of course they did. Parts home, put it on the shelf, never even unlocked it. Kids left the garage open. It got stolen the next day. Dude, <laughs> so crappy, dude. Sounds so, like an inside job. And then hobby people closed down shortly after that. Oh, so that definitely sounds like an indoor job, an inside job then. <laughs> <laughs> they probably followed me home. Right. They already had your address from the sale. Yeah, exactly. They're like, <laughs> yeah, follow that guy. He's got parts and a car. <laughs> because they He's literally a took the a box of car. parts. They took the box of parts, both remotes, the charger, and just that car. And you see how many cars I have in my garage. They were now, all there. That's messed up. Yeah, they some of the... That specific car. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Because so. why wouldn't they literally try to rifle everything as fast as they could? Why yeah. grab the specificness? Why yeah. grab one? That's nuts. 
Yeah, that was definitely someone that that's shady, like super shady. Yeah. That's now at the time, you know, twelve hundred dollars for an RC car was quite expensive because most of my other cars were three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. Right. So I still think twelve hundred is a lot. <laughs> I still think it's a lot. Yeah. You know? Listen, Mister Raminator here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two XO ones in one day. Right. So, and I haven't even bought the rear steer yet. Yeah, Ronnie, I'm not going to show that one, bud. But I agree with you. Yeah. What now? What did what did uh, Tony say the rear steer was four thirty or something like that? Like another five hundred. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth it. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. If I was getting one, I would totally get that too. And then you got to do the motor upgrade and the pipe and yeah, you know, it, it's gonna it's gonna be a five thousand dollar RC by the time it's done. Right. How much is invested in that uh, Mater? Um, where's he at? You still in here? Gus? Yeah, Gus. Are you still in here? How much was that Mater? Like, the Ronnie, the little ones are okay, but that... Th those are a no-no. Oh, good. Yeah, it, it gets automatically like. Yeah, it has locked. to get approved. Four fifty. Four fifty, dude. That's awesome. I was. I went back, like I said, I was watching some of your older videos, and I was watching like the build and stuff, dude. It's awesome. How's that coming along? It is pretty crazy. I would have to ride it. Even though you used to ride it, it was a quad. <laughs> Just guys. Yeah, Ronnie, that's that's my downfall too. That's why I try not. I I think before I'm in here, especially on live. What are you sitting in a single cab Super Duty, or is it an F one fifty? No, this is a crew cab F one fifty. Okay. F five F five F five fifty. Yeah, I converted it. It's a mechanics truck into a fuel truck so I can fuel the cars. Right. Okay. Um, I got all my tools in it. Yeah. See? Man. So I got to carry 100 of diesel, 100 of gas, just so the cars Damn. don't run out of fuel. Right. You know, or if I That's pick awesome. them up and they're empty, I fill them up before they hit the set. So generators uh, and tools and everything I think I might need. Yeah. All right, Dan. So what you're gonna do is in DaVinci Resolve at the top, you go to hold on, let me open it real quick and I'll make sure I get the right thing for you. It's loading up right now. I don't want to point in the wrong direction. <clears throat> Are those purple lights inside that building? Or is that just the illusion? No, they're actually green lights. Oh, really? They're green? Yeah. Wow, they look purple on screen. Yeah, they do. The ones at the top window. The top windows. Oh, the top the top window's purple. Yes. Right, okay. Down at the bottom's green. I see that, yeah. It's the green light. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that building is. Almost looks like it's some kind of like a restaurant or something up there. Yeah. Maybe a bar. <laughs> top level bar. I'm not sure. I know we're doing some uh, executive dance hall thing in the building next to it. So Yeah, yeah. All right, Dan. So what you're going to do... Sorry, guys. Um, you're going to go to File at the top left. Right next to DaVinci Resolve, there's File. Go down to Quick Export. And then uh, Windows going to pop up. In the middle, you click on YouTube. And then you're going to sign in to your YouTube and then you can put your description and all that stuff there. And then when it, you go hit upload, it's going to ask you what you want to save it as. That is your your video's um, title. And then you hit upload, and then it'll upload it for you. And then you can always go back into YouTube and like change the change the name and stuff if you want. But that's how I use DaVinci Resolve.
anybody else working on anything tonight? Organizing these parts. I thought you just grab another RC. Every time you disappear, you bring out parts <laughs> or an RC. I know. We're waiting for the show again. Yeah. Have you run that max yet? Oh yeah. Oh, no. well, I haven't. You talking with the with the wide kit? Yes. With the no, wide kit. no. It was too cold today. I didn't want to chance anything. Yeah. Gus is working on an SMT10. Nice. I've got to switch the rear springs to the front springs and then use the included ones from the kit on the rear. Right. Yep. Yeah, I need to get the wide kit. I'm always flipping mine. I'm waiting on somebody to do a review on it, you know, just to see how much more of a difference it makes. you got to wait for my wife to get out <laughs> that way I can. That way I can film her. I, I actually I want to know what her thoughts are. <clears throat> and that's why I let my daughter drive it. Right. So I did hers first because you know sometimes when you want something to be better than it is, you'll compensate steering. Correct. But yeah. a, a child, they don't know no better. They just drive it like they're used to driving it. Right. Yeah. So when she couldn't flip it over, I was like, "Oh, yep, it's working." Yeah. <laughs> that's a good test. That is a good yep. test like that. Gus yep. says the yep. Max loves the cold. Even if negative five, it's a beast. Yeah, I know. Who was uh, somebody on? The, I think it was uh, George. Deont Deontay broke his. Did he? In the cold. Yeah, so that's what I'm not looking forward to. I wonder if RPM is going to release arms in the wide max kit. I don't see why they wouldn't. Yeah, because that's what I'm kind of holding out for. Yeah. Well, I know the weakest part on the Max now is those C-Hubs. And yeah. they're only like 4 or $5 for a C-Hub, but yeah. they do snap. Yeah. yeah. Making a cardboard template for a custom thin gauge metal wide body held together with bolts and rivets. That's so, kinda, that would look cool. So that's when you get metal C-Hubs whenever they come out with them. Yeah, the problem is if you make everything too strong, there's right. got to be a weak link. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. right now, six dollars to repair it. I just keep like Dante does. I just keep a pair because you know they work all the way around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I keep a pair, you know, for seven dollars in the house. So if the daughter breaks it, lands wrong, I just put another one on. Well, you know, it's funny. Then that's that's the thing too. Uh, just what you do is, if you're afraid of your arms breaking, if your arms are going to break, you buy just another complete wide max kit. For fifty bucks, you've got everything. Yeah, it's yeah. true. That seems like you know, because I mean, then you're getting, you're getting four upper arms, you're getting two sets of lower arms. You know what I mean? Because all four arms of the all, the top arms are all the same thing. All the same. Yeah, it's just the lower arms that that are in pairs. Yeah, and my so, luck, I would break two left front. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and yeah. be without a kid. Right, right. But you get the steering links too, which, which is nice because you yep. could snap those. Yep. You know, it yep. would be interesting. I would like to run that really stiff spring up front. Yeah. That that colored spring they put on the rear and try it up front to see if uh how it how it rides that way. Yeah. Yep. What were you coming across with the spring on the back? Somebody was saying something that you had issues with the springs. I just had issues with uh, when I when I took the back springs, the factory back springs, and I put them up front. They're a lot shorter. Yeah. So what ended up happening, I did what you did. I put the shocks up one more spot on the lower arm to bring up the front. Right. But then I was getting a really bad hop because that spring was so stiff all the way around. When I would jump it, when it would land, it would do that extra hop. Yep. So, and then you lose control of it and it would flip over. So it was counteracting the dampening of the shock oil then. Yes, because it was forced. And then you, you know, you screwed it down to get the clearance. Right. Because you're trying to stop the chassis slapping on the ground to, so you don't ruin your ESC. So, um, which it stopped doing that, but yeah. it would give you that hop and then flip over on its side. So you're still running out to go chase it. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I just put the factory, I took off those back springs, the ones they told me to move forward. I put the long front spring that was originally on it and just stiffened up the oil. Yeah. So I, I, I kept the height and I slowed the bounce down. And because the oil's so thick that I put in it, I don't get the hop anymore. Yeah. Right now, I think with the temp- temperature that we've got, we've got automatic thick oil. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Master, um, some some people do a little like dot of blue uh, Loctite on uh, wheel nuts. And if you look, most of the time from the factory, they actually have them on there already. Like a little dab of blue. Oh, I, th- I, I thread lock all my wheel nuts. It doesn't matter yeah. whether it's serrated or uh, nylocks. They still get thread lock. Yep. They get loose. Right. That's why somebody was saying, they were like, why did you get such a big bottle of Loctite? Because I'll go through it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Loctite yeah, literally everything. I started using the gel because I, I keep leaving it open. It keeps drying up. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what I found with mine was that I use some T-Max drive axles that uh, usually run on the uh, RPM or the standard T-Max. Yeah. I used one of those to replace one of my axles because one of the ends and pins had fell out before. And I put that, I think, on the left rear. And it's just maybe about two to three millimeters shorter than the one that's on the max. Yeah. But the same size nut. So I got that to work with the adapter on it and everything. I haven't had any problems with it rolling off. Nice. Yeah, oh. that's, that's the wonderment. Because of how specific... Traxxas likes to be they like to literally not let one part go to any other vehicle that they've got yep. it's got to be just that two or three millimeters off somehow somewhere so that it just doesn't oh we're sorry it doesn't fit that vehicle you can put it on but it won't perform <laughs> <laughs> well, i put it on it performs it fit, yeah. it stopped like it's supposed to and uh the only issue I had was, of course, where it linked up to the um, dip cup. Yeah. I had to change out that part because Just they the were... even Even something like that, if you made a video about that, you know what I mean? It's crazy. You've got a lot of you've got a lot of stuff that you could just throw videos together. You could be like, you know, this is my experience with this. I, I took this axle out of this, threw it in here. You got to shim that, and, and you're done. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Believe it or not, it helps a lot of people on YouTube. It definitely so, does. It definitely, you know, does. especially the people just getting into it. Yep. You're I think not having to run out to the parts store every time to get a piece. I thought I saw somebody trying to see. Now, don't forget that Earl can't see any comments. I think somebody asked him a question. Uh oh. So what I did was I ordered another T Max so I'd have spare parts for the one that I'm converting into a crawler. But I'm going to actually run it brushless so that I have the option of doing more than crawl. And I'll have spare tires, another metal chassis, black sand body, full set of shocks. So between it all, I'll have some spare axles for the Mac. Yeah. And I'll have spare parts for the other T Max. Nice. Right. Dan, what do you mean it has, you have to re render it? Did it, is it, re, is it rendering on YouTube or is it re rendering in uh, DaVinci Resolve? Because uh, it goes up on YouTube and redoes it, like before it's like all good. Yeah, Ronnie's saying that all, he says almost all of his RC builds are mix matched, but that's great. Oh, we got two Ronnies going here. Good. Uh, I like Frankenstein builds, man. Whatever keeps it on the road. Yes, sir. There is a quick. Did you try to click on quick export? It's there. I put rusty four by four arms on my nitro slash for long travel. Awesome. Yeah, not Highland as an option. Nothing. That's super weird. I've never had that issue, dude. I, and I put up two videos, and and the one's not out yet, but it will be. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know what that issue is, man. I'm sorry.
Ronnie, you had to put the rear out front. Where's Mets at? I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. See how hard he was working at work today on Facebook? Oh, yeah. Wait for that <laughs> yeah, quote unquote. <laughs> Seems All like right, I'm, I'm going to hop off. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I got to get this car wiped down. All right, Earl. All right, bud. All right, see you guys in a few. We're here. If the vid is too long, it'll take forever or won't do it. How long is your video? Cool. I think can't wait to be racing, RC racing. Yeah. Yeah, Basher's made up of random parts and old vehicles. Right. <laughs> yep. Right. Eight minutes? Yeah, my first one was over eight minutes. So, uh, what, eight uh, minutes to render or eight minute video? If it's an eight minute video, I, my, like I said, my first one was eight minutes. I never had an issue. You know what, though? What kind of a computer is he dealing with? Oh, uh, that's true. That could be the bottleneck right there. Yeah. Look at you using computer terms. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bottleneck, nice. Mentally work seven days a well, week. Well, it's just because I was getting thirsty, so I just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a $2,000 computer, but you can buy a two grand computer with, like, if you buy an Alienware, it's not going to get you too much. Yeah, what? Exactly. Girlfriend. Oh, it's his girlfriend's computer. Yeah, I don't. Did, did you try like saving your project and just redoing, uh, resolve, reopening it? Mets, what is I Gus? Gus is saying Mets may work seven days a week, but from what I've seen, it's kind of cheating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <coughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Anything needs proper stats. Yeah. Because like some people like see like a two grand computer like oh my god it's probably the best and I look at some of the specs I'm like oh man he that's why I just build my own yeah but that's intimidating for some people oh yeah yeah hundred percent it is like when I first did it I was like oh I have no idea what I'm doing well I remember but, uh, the first time I broke into a computer I had to wear one of those ground straps oh yeah I didn't know what I was doing yeah. I uh, but now nowadays it's pretty simple. Everything's like you plug the motherboard in or screw the motherboard in, drop the CPU in it, put your RAM in, put your video card in, run your wires, and you're done. Right, right. I think what it is though is that is there's so much out there that people don't. You get confused. Oh yeah, because certain um, things don't work, and you'll, together. you'll you'll buy like what you think is the latest and greatest, and then two weeks later, yeah, it's just part of it. Bought, what you just bought is now three years behind. Yeah. Yeah, me too, Gus. Gus is, I want to see one of Gus's computers. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a microwave, a refrigerator, <laughs> all wired together with like On big tires. Boards. <laughs> It's he's gonna stand up old one of those one of those old uh, fans that oscillates. Yeah, <laughs> like built even built them like six years ago. It was like way harder than it is now. Yeah. Duct tape together. <laughs> Long story short, short put a GoPro on the tracks of Spartan in a lake. Good video. <laughs> Gus, how did you guess? <laughs> <laughs> I could totally see it. And Dan, worst comes to worst, if you go to the top, there's uh, help, and there's actually videos that you can watch on how to use that software. Like, they're long videos. Some of them are like forty-five minutes, but uh, there should be one on your issue. I don't. I wish I could help you, but I really don't know why quick export isn't an option for you. 
Ronnie, don't forget the zip ties. I use zip ties to hold zippy down. ties. Hey, zippy. That's zip. right. <laughs> zippy tie. The only thing mine doesn't do is get do Yeah, I know. Did you did you guys see that uh mini fridge that comes to you when you want it with beer? What? Or whatever you want to put in it, but obviously it's meant for beer. What? They also have one that looks like R two D two. No. Yeah, I'm telling you. You just oh, you'd like hit a button or whatever and it'll come up to you and you take it. Holy smokes. The whole fridge comes to you. <laughs> I have one right next to me, actually, next to my desk. That's easy. Boom. Yeah. Good to go. That I'm really debating. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, I think you did see that. That little crawler Mets tagged me in on Facebook. Yeah. That uh, sh- with the Chevy body. Yes. Yes. I think it's super sweet. Yeah, it is. I don't know. I just I I have a hard time with the the small cars. Yeah. I have a group like this one to get around and share knowledge. Yeah, RC. It is. This is uh when I found uh, RC guy. That's I love just chilling in the streams. I still do. Just talking to everybody. What everybody's doing. Learn some stuff. I think Gus seen it. I did car audio for a while. I got out of it real quick. Why's that? Um, I was spending too much of my own money. Oh. Because you could get discounts. But oh, when yeah. You, but when your discounts start equaling your check, <laughs> because you got to have all the you know latest stuff, same thing with this. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I couldn't work in a hobby shop. I, I, I wouldn't. This, I would never get a check. I think this is even worse. I was the only one in a 1979 Trans Am with two bazooka tubes firing into the corners of the trunk, running on two ADS power plate amps with 95 <laughs> at the time 95 watts of clean power to each amp, where somebody could hear me. Cu- when I would go to the other shop that I used to work at, they literally could hear me a couple of miles away. There was a stop sign. They're like, dude, I could hear your car coming. I that's knew awesome. exactly where you were. That was like, and that's playing Metallica. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, I'm, uh, I just got uh, my first, my first like real fifth scale two stroke. Are you going to go two stroke or electric? You were thinking about taking up knitting mast. <laughs> And here's the crazy part, right? I don't get rid of anything. Here's my bazooka tube. Oh, dude, that's awesome. You should mount that. You should get an X-Max and put that on it. (laughs) I have two of these still. (laughs) I don't throw anything away. I, I, I I was putting so much power through that. Through actually, it's not that tube. I was putting so much power through the other tube, it actually separated the PVC from the main housing. The yeah. baffle, the baffle actually separated. Gus says it sounds like his '73 male Jeep. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ronnie, two shark man. Yeah, I, I actually uh, I just ordered my diff cases. I'm swapping those to aluminum. They won't be here until like next month, which sucks. Um, but other than that, I'm just going to order a Bartolone pipe and then I'm going to do a whole upgrade series or like a ep- couple episodes on my, uh, DBXL. Actually, I'll show you it just because I like that truck so much.
was here enough to poo poo. <laughs> I don't know why it's blocked block that. Um, is 10 scale considered small scale? No, I think that's average scale. That's how I look at it. Everybody has like 10 scale. The easiest to find. Yeah, she is pretty. Like I said, I'm going to do uh, an upgrade, a couple of upgrade episodes while all my parts get here on my channel. I, uh, I got like a few more things coming. I got most of it. Then uh, break it in, and eventually it's going to get a 31.8 size motor, DC motor. Trade both your Revos for a Baja. Yeah. I don't know who would take that trade, though. No no offense. I love my Revos. I have Revos. I have the Mini Revo, the 3.3 Revo, the original 3.3 Revo, 2.25 Revos. Um, I, lo I think I love that platform. That's uh, a really good question, RC. I don't know. Chef. <laughs> Man. This was just in one car. You should put that in the... Um, in the tracker? Tracker, yeah. <laughs> Have to run a battery bank in the back. <laughs> Doing everything from Eclipse, Alpine... Um, Kenwood, a Sony, and another Sony. Back when Sony actually made good amps. Wait, you were oh, talking. You were talking to somebody about the TRX4, and he said the club doesn't really do small deal with small scale. Was it a rock crawling club? Because like, if so, I don't under. I wouldn't consider that a small scale. Like this is small. This is like micro. You know? I don't consider a ten scale small. Like regular. Average. You're still big time into car audio. I have a really nice I have a nice setup in my eighty six Chevy, but that's not on the road right now. Large scale is definitely fifth scale. Or bigger. It was a rally club. What is the setup? What setup are you talking about? Or seeing it? Are you talking to a guy? I think audio? About the car audio. What transmission is that? That's from the T Max. Oh yeah, I thought it looked familiar. I've got to go in and check it out and see why it's not turning like it's supposed to here. Yeah, that, that was when uh, that's the example that I gave Anna when she was asking about disc brakes. Do you remember when Anna was asking about disc brakes on the RCGD site? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like, she was having an argument with her significant other. You said, yeah, your audio set up. Oh, there's no audio set up right now. The only audio setup that I have is, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I can't get to my other stuff. Maybe I can. <laughs> uh, no, nah, there's no way I can get to it. Uh, from what I've seen, it doesn't look like it's too hard to get to. The transmission. I want to get a TRX4, too, but that's I have so many things on my list I want to get. But I want to get the rest of my fiscal stuff in and then get that vi those videos up of me doing the upgrades first. It's kind of like number one priority. I uh, do you then? Nice. Uh, look you up right now, actually.
You got some gaming videos up? Subscribe. I'm into gaming. Just over here, Dan. Sub icon. Forgive me if I said that wrong. Uh, no, I sold my PS4. Um, I had all the consoles. I have an Xbox One X, a, a Nintendo Switch, which I don't say I love that thing. And then I'm really big into PC gaming. This is what's supposed to be going in the trunk of the Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get to the other stuff. This is literally all just picking part components that I was just putting together for a system for the Camaro. Because one of the things about having the, the Camaro, I much prefer listening to the big block now over the radio. But if I want to listen to music, so what I've been wanting to do is basically gut this stock radio that came out of the Camaro. It's just a regular AM radio. I want to gut this and try to make it operable to a to a degree yeah but at least just be able to turn it on with the switch maybe just turn this into a power switch uh -huh. because the radio itself is junk now but then maybe just hook it up to some kind of bluetooth module or whatever or see what i can do but but this is the, ooh, this is ooh. the arrow. <laughs> end of stream real quick right there yeah am radio baby your stick is dead on your pro controller yeah i'm mouse and keyboard man i can't play fps's on a console anymore i'm so bad with it now put what in an rc uh the radios oh yeah <laughs> that radio worth a lot of money <laughs> are you making a making a statement or are you asking a question yeah, it's actually the original radio too. AM. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Can you RC guy, you claim your stuff on taxes? Yes. I will now. Yeah, because you, you can, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you start getting paid with it, yeah. Just talk to your yeah, not really. Yeah, like it's not stream friendly, but yeah. No, really, it worth a lot. Yeah, I've taken a big hit for last year. Last year, I only made 57 cents, so. <laughs> Seriously, too, I've got the proof. 57 cents. Yeah, 57 cents. I got about uh, seven, eight grand into it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's back scratcher. Best four dollars I ever spent at CVS. <laughs> Ronnie, well, yeah, fifty-seven cents, legitimate too. Fifty-seven cents all of last year. That's all Google paid me. And that's all I need. I just need proof that I was paid, and that literally happened like right in December at the end of the month. It was just like, bam, fifty-seven cents. Nice. Where is it from? Google. Is that where you get paid? Yes. You got one of those too? Are you talking about the back scratcher? <laughs> yes. Super handy. So uh you said you ran that uh truck in your living room? Guy? Oh yeah, yeah. The the uh ground pounder. How do you th how do you think it held up? Obviously you probably made a video on it just like cliff notes. How did it hold up? Like how did how do you did you like it? Like did it run well? Um 
literally only did I wanted to see him. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this stupid screen off. Um, <laughs> Because I did the share screen, but I'm I'm still I'm still learning here. Right. Um, I just wanted to get a couple of clips for uh, the end of the video that I did, so that so, you know people could actually see that it was actually moving. Yeah. Um, so as far as like really getting into it, you know, obviously the wife was coming home, so I kind of had to hide it. <laughs> thought, really thought real quick. <laughs> Gotta put things away. Can't have two by fours in the house. What are you doing now? Nothing. I do like it though. It's um, it's definitely different. I'm I'm not, I am not used to that you know four wheel steering kind of thing. And then obviously, the weird part is the way the four wheel steel wor uh, steer works is you have to cycle through different modes. So you kind of have to know what mode you're in, and then depending upon how many times you press the button, it's just I don't know. It doesn't seem very intuitive. Um, I'm sure it'll be great for just you know moving around but until i can figure out how to set something on another switch or where maybe another radio like chef is supposed to be getting here it's coming if, man see if something like that will uh actually work with that it'll be here the 22nd and it does have a four wheel steer steer option for crawlers and stuff too so it should work that's see, that's what i'm interested in no uh ninja i haven't even opened it yet i think that was trash ninja right no, so. Mr. Sly. Oh. Yeah, I do have that Dumbo. It's a six channel. Um, I haven't even, I haven't even broke it open. Again, it's the same thing with the Red Cat, with the Red Cat Gen Eight and that Ground Pounder. I've literally just had them sitting. I got the, I got the, the Gen Eight the day it came out. I got it, and I just, I don't know. I just wasn't, I wasn't psyched about it. But now I'm kind of getting, now that the weather is kind of getting, you know, crappy now. Yeah, it's supposed to be like 20-something in like two days here. Yeah. And that's and that's where I think for me, that's where the crawl up, Casey? will come in because yeah, I, can yeah. do that. I can do that in the house and you're not going to break anything, you know? Yeah. Or at least the, the, the intent. Casey Benson, what's going on, man? So I keep trying to do is I keep trying to do like you said, Chief. Chief. Chief is fine, I'm telling you. Chef. I keep trying to have like a, a the YouTube window open because this the, the the delay on this thing is ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's bad. That's like waiting to open Christmas presents until February. <laughs> As Gus just said. What was he saying? He said it's like waiting waiting to open Christmas presents until February. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Could you I'm sure you could. Has anybody ever put four wheel steer on a TRX or? Uh anybody seen that? Kevin Talbot did it. Did he? Yeah. He put it on his sport. Oh, did he? His TRX sport, you know, the one that he goes wicked fast on. Yeah. Uh, Venom, Casey's asking where you're from. Kansas City, Missouri. Gosh, you have? Did you get Is that? there a video? I'm in Arkansas now, though. Arkansas. <laughs> so, what is Gus saying that he has a four wheel steel TRX4? I think so. Because I, I didn't see. I was like I said, I was going through some of your videos today. I didn't see it. Because Venom's got the the Venom. You have the the TRX four with the tracks, right? Yeah, it's a sport, and I put the tracks on it like about a month ago. Right, and you've got a Gen eight for a crawler. Oh yeah. I am from New Jersey. Uh, I was back in the day when you just did forums. RC Masters from Wales. Wow. Gosh, do you still have that set up? I think I knew that though. Were you from New York last week? <laughs> so 
Uh-oh. Rusty Master just floats around. Kevin just put four wheel steer on a. Oh Where yeah, on his laminator. Yeah. Yeah, that that's a must though. The turning radius on that thing is garbage without it. Yeah, I think that's what um. I think that's what Tony was saying when he was on the stream with us the other night. He was saying now he wishes he did get the, or he said I don't know why I didn't or something like that. I yeah. Um, Mr. Sly, the um, they're pretty much the same. Um. Honestly, me, I would go Outcast just because I like the way the Outcast looks. I just lost my job, so everything has been going. What do you mean you just lost your job, man? It's hard to hear that, man. That's no good. But that's up to you, man. Like I said, they're pretty much, like chassis-wise and stuff, they're pretty much the same. Um, same drive shafts and stuff, but I just like the, the way the outcast looks. Isn't there a way to pop the chat out or something? I thought there was like an option to pop the chat out. Wait. Yeah. You hit the, on YouTube, hit the three little, uh, okay. Yeah. And then you pop that. No, yeah, okay. Cool. That's way better. Either go work for somebody else. Like being your own boss. Yeah, man, that's shit. Oh, sorry. They shut down on the 2nd of January. Man. That's crazy why that happens. Like some, you know, companies like they'll close down like the week before Christmas. Yeah. Or like I've mean? heard people like walk up to work and there was just a sign on the door. Yeah. You know, like that's so crappy to do the people. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, but you know why they do it? There'd be a riot. There'd be stealing. There, you know, there'd be craziness going on. Oh, yeah. But the least you could do with people that were there for years helping you out doing their work and stuff is like, Hey, heads up, you know, we're closing the door or something. When I was when I was 19 years old, I worked for a book bindery and um the company was in the process of closing down. I think the second year I was there or something like that. So there were people that had worked for that bindery for years. And yeah. what was nuts was that I slowly watched how they got rid of people, like in that it was literally like it would be their last day because the guy, the guy would actually go around handing everybody their check. Like every every week, there would be a guy that goes around and hands out the check, and the guy would hand out the check and go, "This is your last day." Like as you're leaving, this is your last day. It's like, huh? And so many people got pissed because they were they they were uh, they had seniority, what they called seniority in the company. Yeah. And they were letting them go versus me, which I started to feel a little bad and a little nervous because here I am, just some young kid. And I'm because they made too much. Yeah. I don't even know if I don't even know if that's what it was. But I stayed like almost right to the end, which was crazy. I needed the money, so I was I was happy. I was appreciative. But uh that was also the job that when they gave me a review. I flipped out because they gave me a dime. Oh, a ten cent review. I freaked out. Oh yeah. I I mean I lost it that day. I'm surprised I didn't get fired that day. I walked right up to the guy that supposedly I thought handled the reviews, and I just freaked out in his face. And I said, you know, you giving me a dime makes it so that I can take that seventy or eighty cents and stick it in your. Coca Cola machine and get an extra Coca Cola a day. Thanks, that really helped me out. <laughs> yeah, that's just a dime. ridiculous. A dime raise. What the hell? Small, small community. Yeah, yes. My uh, my family's from like the coal mining towns up in uh, PA. So, like that happens a lot there too.
Trash Ninja really wants Earl to hire him, huh? <laughs> What's up, Stickies? Going well. How are you? Stickies RC. What's happening? I don't want to have everyone go. This is my Xbox game. Sorry, this is my Xbox game. My name. That's a lot of things. It doesn't mean I read my Xbox. Are you reading Mr. Slides? Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't matter, man. I mean, come on. Would you want to have a name like Earl Moorhead? I mean. <laughs> What's up, Kevin RC? <laughs> man, you got... Uh, I forget who said it. I'm sorry, but man, you got me super excited about that TLR of Truggy, if it's true. Kevin Marino, what's going on, man? Are you at... Uh... No, you're not at Reckless right now. Earl is a yes, actually, Earl really is a celebrity. Actually, yeah, to us, he is. Where, if the person has said that about the truggy, where did you hear that information? If you're still in here, and again, I'm sorry, I forgot who said it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna accept this one that are seeing it said just because it is funny. I only block like the really, really bad uh, right. words. Right. I, that one I would have too. <laughs> well, that one, you know what's funny is that one's just automatic and I'm not sure why. There was one automatic earlier that had no bad words in it at all. Really? Yeah, so I, I allowed it, but like yeah. I had no idea why it was blocked. I think it, it's just the way YouTube um, sees it, I guess. Yeah, it's better safe than sorry, honestly, though. <laughs> Our scene is just finding destruction and just... He's just going to throw it away and, and just start over new. <laughs> you wish was your nightly. Yeah, I, I used to watch Bewitched. Yeah. When, when I was a kid. That and uh, my other favorite shows were uh, Get Smart and um, Hogan's Heroes. I used to love, those were all my grandfather's favorite shows, so obviously they were mine. And my grandfather loved Tom and Jerry, too, so that was perfect. I used to watch the Clampets. Oh, what was that other show there? Beverly uh, Hillbillies. Yeah, Beverly Hillbillies. The Monsters. Monsters. Monsters, yep. Yep. Right now, we're, we're, talking, we're talking Earl's language right now. I just saw a new Pro Adventures wheels. Or wobbling? Huh. That bears you you talking about the lows he been hanging out with me, Philip Jolly, aka Godfather off speed. He he went seventy five miles per hour the other day. That's insane. Yeah, I still like Tom and Jerry too, man. This stuff's funny. Yeah. And obviously, you can't forget the Three Stooges. Oh, yeah. I have all of those on uh, DVD. Green Acres. Look at Casey Benson. Green Acres. Yeah. I've seen it. The only thing you got to do is you got to leave out those bombs right there. Yeah. I know you're pissed. Those, though, yeah, all those little faces. That's better. <laughs> just, just, do the, just do the face with the blocked word. Otherwise, it'll it'll mess up the stream. I must be the old guy here. Why? Why do you forget when, that? When they first came on. 
<laughs> Why is House on Homestead saying he must be the old guy? I think what we were just saying that's kind of proven. Um, Earl and I are about the same age. Uh, the Limitless? Yeah, I think so. Uh, from everything I've seen, I, I I can't tell you firsthand, but everything I've seen, it looks like it handles way better. You know, it's crazy. When I worked in that book bindery, it actually reminded me of it. Uh, Gus is talking about the Three, three Suges video game. When I worked in that book bindery, uh, this particular bindery actually got a couple of contracts. They got the Three Stooges book, and I can't tell you how many cases of books walked out of the the warehouse just because it was a Three Stooges book. Um, not by me, just by other people that work there. Cases of books just walked out of there. And also, um, the book that I hated the most because it was the longest run book that we had ever done was um, something to do with uh, Audrey Hepburn. That book was crazy. What's old to you guys? Um, What's old? 70. I was just about to say that too. Literally took the words out of my mouth. Seventy. I mean, because that 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 just would be normal as old. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you're not alive. <laughs> Got venom to laugh. I heard that. <laughs> yeah. I feel one seventy. <laughs> Uh, house on homestead i retired at 98 oh I retired, <laughs> retired in the 90s. jeez wow dude you are definitely old if you retire <laughs> go call you father time <laughs> actually you heard that right that um what's his name just died today douglas the father 103 he was 103 years old or some longevity, you don't find much. No, no, you don't. To a child, um, 19 years old. Yeah, it is. From some little guys little. say 35 is old. Come on. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, if you're talking to a yeah, if you're talking to a seven seven year old. If 35 is old, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Instead of having one foot in the grave, both of them are in there. And playing rugby. Right. The only old as you feel, my kids think I'm yeah, awesome because I can still beat them in Mario. That's what I like. That's what I like to hear, guys. It's awesome. You know, my grandfather, when he was 67 years old, he sat me down at the kitchen table. We were going to have lunch. He had just finished cutting down a tree out in the backyard and carrying it in. And he was 67 and we were sitting down. And he's like, cause he used to call me Timmy. He goes, Timmy, he goes, I don't know what's, I don't know what 67 is supposed to feel like. I feel like I'm 35. And I just, I mean, my grandfather, I mean, he was a golden gloves boxer. It's just to crazy stories that, you know, world war two vet. Um, he remembers uh, picking up, the one of the uh, Russian baton grenades that got thrown into where a bunch of his guys were in a bunker, he picked up the the baton and threw it back at him. Like the stupid, like the crazy things that that he has told me. All those stories, I miss. I miss hearing those stories. You know, it's crazy. Just the stuff. That's called having a pair. Right. He was actually driving a general around, uh, obviously at nighttime, in a Jeep. And he had to ditch the Jeep because a tank was coming the other way on the road. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it's Reba 3-3. That's what I'm talking about. I'm just waiting for somebody to tuck me in. <laughs> I ain't standing with any amount of feet in the grave. Nice. I'm actually having a, an issue with one of my Revos, the 2.5, my original. 
the RPMs on the motor go up where they need to be, but it doesn't move very quick. It takes a while to get the speed. I really think it's stuck in second gear. I have to root that transmission apart. Wow, Gus's grandfather was 101. He only died because he fell off the roof fixing some shingles. Jesus. Yep. Yeah, I agree, John. It is kind of like an RC podcast. It's not just RC, though. We just talk about life and everything. Yeah. That's why I like him a lot. It's, man. it's, it's just cool whatever. It's awesome. Hang out with some guys. That's literally what I was calling in the beginning. It was just like literally everybody just coming over my house when it wasn't, you know, doing this, this, you know, multi stream. Yeah. You know, because, and then doing the multi stream, this is even better. Get you out of isolation and get some more ideas. Right. Yeah. Especially Absolutely. with you in the streams, man. Bring up all that FPV stuff. I know. <laughs> You definitely need to make us a list of, like Guy said, put it up on the Facebook. Yeah, exactly. One easy way to get everything we need. Now, I can copy and paste direct off of, like, the sites that I bought it at. However you want to do it. However you want to do it. Whatever you think is the best way. I'm thinking that ought to bring up the product and everything else because right. I'm mobile now. Otherwise, I could screenshot each item and then put, like, the link up under it. No, nah, just, just go on the Facebook in the regular way, you know, and just put up the Venom's master list. Venom's, it's Venom's guide for F, Venom's guide, FPV for dummies. That's literally what it's going to be. Yeah, it needs to be that. Yeah, uh, you get... Venom's guide, FPV for dummies. <laughs> and tag, tag me, Mets, right. and a uh, guy in it. <laughs> I'm going to put the monitor the FPV transmitter camera and battery lead combo and even the uh, car audio link on there. That would be cool. Nice. That would be cool. I might it's try to make it to the skate park tomorrow with the Max. Oh, that's right. You have tomorrow off. Yeah, because uh, I, I would like to get a running video up on my channel because the next one is just a shed update because I had a nice day to get that wire ran. So hopefully I can get out to the skate park tomorrow. Now you ran it in conduit and all that stuff, right? Not yeah. direct yeah. aerial. Yeah. I got the indoor out outdoor uh cat five E cable, but I also put it in the pipe and ran it all the way to my shed. Now you say you put ends on it too? So you ran the wires and put yeah, the ends on it, yep. Yeah. Um I the only reason why I'm not out there tonight is because I haven't uh tested it yet. I want to make sure everything should be fine. But Oh, Dan, thanks for that uh, sub, man. I appreciate that. But, um, yeah, so hopefully by the next stream, I'll be out in my shed. I also picked up a heater for it, too, because it gets cold out there. And don't forget not to talk about RC Club. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to not talk. The only thing is I have to figure out a way to uh, mount my phone to my transmitter. Because like I said, I don't have a GoPro yet. Mine broke. So. You got to get that thing. What thing? The mount. The mount? Yeah. It's upstairs. It's actually on my thing right now. Yeah, Kurt, but the, I picked up a uh, propane heater. I'm going to, because it's only a 10 by 10 shed with all my stuff in it, besides the fist scale, because the rest of the parts aren't out there, uh, aren't here yet. But I'll link to my channel. Sure. Um, Just click next to my name. There's three dots, and you can go right to my channel that way in chat. won't show will it oh, i oh. see it where'd you get that mount from well uh yeah walmart amazon amazon yeah i need something tomorrow i was thinking about walking around walmart and just 
rigging you, something together. Something tomorrow, just use uh, electrical tape. That's true. Just, you know what I mean? Because electrical tape will at least stretch and you can get it to wrap on. That's actually, you know, what's funny is that's, I don't know where that other mount is I had. But when I first started doing this, I had, there was a piece of metal that I had that had a hole in it. This is just a piece of foam. Piece of metal I had with a piece of foam, uh, with a piece of thing on it. And I just stuck a, I just stuck it on that and just wrapped it right around with with electrical tape. Yeah, right that's obvious. Was... Because you just you just gonna rip it off anyway. Yeah. When you're done, the only thing you gotta just make sure of is that you, this this can pivot. You know what I mean? Because that's the thing that you'll forget. Because your eyes are looking at the car, your remote is usually faced the other in a different angle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if you're used to that, you just need to remember to take your phone and turn it towards how you you know are like if you're one of those ones that follow your car by your head or follow it by your body you know because sometimes people follow their rcs by their body you know what i mean yeah i'm more of a i've turned my head so that's going to be yeah. hard for me to get used to oh who was it uh on our on the uh on the facebook site he did the um he put the uh he didn't have a gopro so he Used a head mount for his cat. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just if somebody uses the ten inch i i i iPad. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Whatever it takes, right? Yeah. That's gonna be like stuck in my head if I make it out there tomorrow. I hope I don't get kicked off. It's right next to the police station. So Ronnie. Ronnie, right there. How many good vids that he's wasted by not following the RC? Yeah, I'm that's, gonna try and bed that in my head. But that's literally why you do. That's why you do get the head mount. You just have to not care what you know look like. Oh, I couldn't care less. Have you seen what I look like? <laughs> the head mount, because then you're always following the car with your head. And I'll tell you, I always now run two. I run two uh, cameras on my remote now. I use the GoPro down low, and then I use this mount with a phone on the front of it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm running two cameras on the remote, and then I've got the GoPro head mount if I feel like I want to get like extra footage. Because literally, like we were just saying, your head is always following the car. What you have to remember is that, like what I've learned... You... Earl, head mounts make them look better. <laughs> Use different settings. Use different settings for your cameras. So you'll have your GoPro being wide, right? Mm -hmm. So you can catch more down low. I have my phone set at more, like, because it's automatic, for more close-up shots. Okay. Because once the GoPro, how do I explain it? So once the once the car is too far on the wide shot, I switch it over to the phone. And in post, I match the color grading so that when it switches, it's almost seamless color-wise. Yeah. On the last video, I just didn't waste my time doing it so you can tell the obviousness of, you know, you've got GoPro, you know, awesome-looking color, and then phone looking like, you know, gray crap. It's like, but you can do it so that, you know what I mean? Try yeah, like seamless that post stuff with the color though that's a little above my pay grade right now i think no, i'm still not. getting used it's i'm still getting used to it you mess with one you mess with one of them and then basically you just tell that next clip to act like that clip i want the color from your clip to blend to this one well right. i mean i don't know you your computer you, you know, you know, I, I do computer but there's video now so there's yeah, that's true i guess trial and error man my first couple ones will probably be a little shoddy, but I'll get I'll get it. Well, if there anything like your first video, that was I can't wait to see a running video though. Yeah, my run, like it said. That's where the fun comes in. That's when you go outside, you do stuff, you come inside, you're like, ah, oh, crap, it's all I missed crap. everything. Yeah, and then you have to go back outside. Yeah, charge up another battery. <laughs> yeah, like like I said, my second video was just an update on the shed, just because I wanted to get that done that day. I actually say something in the beginning about that, but um. My next one will be a running video. 
Wait a minute. Did you already put out another video? Uh, it's uploaded, but it's not going live until Monday. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I didn't get a uh, thing. No, I just, Grumpy, I, what's going on, man? Spreading them out. <laughs> Grumpy's got the popcorn out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I should get popcorn. Pretty much. I did an outside running video filming where I had a camera pointed at the ground. <laughs> yep. That sounds like Earl. That's what Earl did. <laughs> I guess Earl had his camera f like to face too far up when he was doing his wide max uh, installation uh, thing on his on one of his wide maxes. So all the footage was oh, dude. at the wall. <laughs> oh, Foundry, what's up, man? Foundry's here. What's happening? What's up, Grumpy? Is Foundry, that, hop in, man. Anybody want to jump in? It's right there. Almost 25 minutes of that is of awesome. footage of the ground in my feet. That's awesome, Stickies. <laughs> like, I'm laughing at you, but I know it's going to happen to me, and I'm going to be furious. You know what? That's that's what that's what ticked me off about this one. Because mm. it, it was within seconds of this room of this camera being on the UDR that the that the rear tires just sandblasted all the glass right out of it. And it was just like, I mean, I ran the thing, you know, like, you know, what you call epic shots, epic jumps. Everything was looking mint. I was, I was like picturing it all in my mind, like the sand spray has got to look mint. And what happened was the arm swung out and went right behind the rear tire and just the sand just destroyed sure. the, uh, I got all the audio, all the audio is there. <laughs> it still works. Boundary, I've done that a few times, just waking up at your desk. Yeah, you get comfy, dude. These chairs are comfortable. The audio was the best. I was commenting about how awesome the footage was. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken a hundred. I need to start learning how to do um or doing uh. What are they called? Like the pictures they see before they click on the video. Oh, thumbnails. Thumbnails. Uh, yeah, I need to do thumbnails because they just. Do whatever they want now. They're just what, random. What do you have for a phone? Uh, Galaxy S10. Okay. So, do you know what Pixar? Uh, no, no, no. I have the Note Nine. Sorry, I, I want the S10. Do you know what the uh, what Pixar is? Uh, no. So that's what I've got on mine. That's what I do all of my thumbnails with is Pixar. Pixar. Yeah. Is that like an app uh, you download? Yeah, I'll show you what it is. It is. My buddy's a tree service. He got a call to climb a huge maple to recover a large DJI Maverick. Holy hell. See the P? Yeah, yeah. Pixar. Pixar. Okay. Yeah. I use that for everything. You don't have to use the paid version either. I've been using the free version for years now. So who did the guy who's Maverick, Mavic it was, get it back? Or was it just like forgotten about? install oh that's nice a dji mavic did you see the new mini they have yeah then my next drone is the sky dio sky dio yep I, I haven't seen it it's the i'll see if i can pull it up maybe now i can do it oh, our true service to recover that couldn't have been cheap how high was it? I know my buddy has a cherry picker. I think I would have just toughed it out. You just start throwing rocks at it. <laughs> yeah, doing something. Basketball. XR. Let's see. How can I do the bam? Bam. Boom. Uh oh. Wait, this only says there's a. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, I'm well. frozen, aren't I? On screen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I have too many windows open. Uh, it's that Mac, dude, bottling down. 
Oh no! Am I literally gonna have to shut down the whole computer? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh man, I, I think the live might go off. I don't think so. We'll see. Oh, we'll find out. Wow, even my uh Yeah, it's totally frozen. That's crazy. Yep, oh, you gone. You use one movie maker program for editing videos. What few I've done. Nice grandpa. I, I use a. Uh, DaVinci Resolve, it's a free software. Yeah, he locked up. He'll be back. Uh, Icon, I don't know if he wants that in the chat. I'm going to let him decide. Yeah, Hijax wants it. Yeah, Chef Shell. I would, if it was my show, there would be some more uh, different words being able to get used. But I like the fact that his is family friendly. <laughs> Founders, did you start building any of those uh, kits you got? Like that uh, buggy? With the fiscal, you want to you want to talk about fiscal, you want to talk to Foundry, man. If you guys, I I, I don't know why you want to be, but if you guys don't know Foundry, you go look at his channel. He did a a walk around in his shop or his area where his RCs are. Insane, so many fiscals. About RC Twitch, I I have I actually Twitch, I have a Twitch, but uh, I haven't like I used to game stream on there. I got affiliated. But uh, I, I just haven't been twitching. I think the RC community wouldn't really go on Twitch. I think you would need a strong following here first to get a following on Twitch with RC. Oh, you did start them, but it's going to be a while for video. Hey, man, that's fine. I, I'm excited to see what you're going to do with this. All right, Mass Master. Have a good morning, I guess. <laughs> 3 a.m. Yeah, it's 10.30 here, too. Where you at, Ronnie? You can't get him to use Discord? I know, dude. I use Discord, too. Uh, is that how it works, Grumpy? Since I'm a mod that doesn't get frozen? Guy is live on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> he is. <laughs> How do I comment on this on Facebook? Uh, you say he's trying to get back on, guys. Yeah, Casey, Foundry has some awesome rigs. I don't know how I'm live without him. I have no idea. He'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, we can't hear the YouTube stream guy. I don't know if it's a delay. I, I wish I had. I wish I knew how to comment on his Facebook. <laughs> the suspense is killing me, guys. All right, I'll kick in to help out a bit. I'm posting that list into the group now. Oh, nice. SUV, inexpensive setup, and vehicle and audio speakers with the dual engine sounds with the speakers. Listed the monitor, its link, the FPV transmitter and camera combo, and a link for that. A battery that'll work fine like I did when I made that pod. And also listed the vehicle engine auto dual speaker system with its link. So they're all there. You get hours of enjoyment out of it. Pretty much plug and play. Gives you a monitor that's standalone instead of the goggles. So you don't have to worry about that feeling of uh, being boxed in or getting motion sickness. Man, that's awesome. If you had the winter like last year. Forty two minutes till it's uploaded. Nice, Dan. Sorry guys, I'm not really paying attention to chat. I'm trying to see what's happening with Guy right now. If you guys go on our Facebook group, you'll actually see him trying to sh struggle and trying to get this going. <laughs> Why can't I? Oh, yeah, there he is. We got some sound. <laughs> Earth to guy, he's coming grumpy. To guy, boom! Grumpy. <laughs> I'm on uh, you're back. Double, double stream. <laughs> double right, feature. I'm gonna end the Facebook live. <laughs> Uh, we're actually on YouTube live right now, so whoever is over here, if you want to go back onto the YouTube, you can go back onto the YouTube. This was a total accident, so <laughs> I'll see you later. That's awesome. You should probably do that every time we go live. You probably get a couple more viewers on here. Dude, that was crazy. My whole computer went down. Yeah, man, that's fine. I'm excited to see what you're going to do. My whole computer went down. Can't stop this. Here we go. Bye, Have a good morning, I guess. Hey, if anything, I'm funny to watch. Not only am I funny looking. <laughs> you can't find my channel, Casey. Oh, Here. That was awesome. If you click the three bubbles next to my name, you can go right to my channel. I don't know why some people can just look my name up and it shows up, and some people it doesn't work for. Could almost be like, watch. I'll probably unplug. It. Venom RC RC in it wants to know what VTX do you like to use? Uh, Five point eight gigahertz. Um, at least forty channels and about six hundred milliwatt transmitter. That's pretty much a decent standard. Whether or not you want to do quadcopters, you want to put it on vehicles, crawlers, boats, even. Just take all your precautions of waterproofing it, but keeping it cool and ventilated. 
No problem, Arsene. That's why I'm here, man. Hey, tell them to check out in the group. I left links to those, the monitor, and batteries that are 1100 milliamps, 7.4 volt, which will power it up just fine. They have the JST link on it, so everything will be plug and play. Yeah, I see that. Amazon. The only thing I didn't do was list the prices, you know. I started getting the arthritis, you know what I'm saying? Carpal tunnel. Oh, dude, links are perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. These really, the price isn't really bad at all. Hey, when you're sitting back on a fixed income, retired, and it's a hobby, you don't want to break yourself for it. Yeah. Right? That's why I worked at a hobby shop. I basically worked, and when I made a little overtime, my entire check evaporated into <laughs> pieces and vehicles. <laughs> made me spit my coffee out of my nose. My entire check just evaporated. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, bills were paid. Food was in the fridge, and gas right. was in the tank. Right, I it to myself, the rest of it just disappeared. Briefly, and sold the hobby stuff. I couldn't resist. Yeah, hey man. Uh, in case we do. <laughs> Yeah, Chef, baby that body. Two Camaro. I went ahead and got me a Kyosho on order. Yeah. Um, trying to remember the name of it. I ordered it on eBay. And it's, what can I say? Um, set up to be equipped for brushed or brushless. Comes with an escalator and motor. And it's basically going to read off the name of it here. Oh, my picture. Okay, Casey, I got it. <laughs> it's the Tamiya 110th TTO2 four wheel drive on road Rekiri GT. Called it for a sweet deal since, of course, you know, they had a limited supply. Right. But uh, I'm going to put a brushless system in it and have that as my secondary on road drift that'll go a bit faster than that 2S Shelf yeah. Queen. Yeah, yeah, yep. <clears throat> then when I do figure out how to get my FPV set up on it, I think I'm going to be jumping ramps with it just to see how much damage it can take because oh, it's God. an alloy and carbon setup. So it should take a lot of damage and be lightweight for a good while. Oh, Venom. Let's see. Grumpy, is this, is this affordable hobby level RC style? What does? Oh, and the link that I left, it leaves a um, set up to where it's two of the batteries that you get. 7.4 volt, 1100 milliamp. Those last, that's the basically the same size and style battery I was using the other night when I ran mine. And you see from multiple vehicles that was still broadcasting. Right. Problem. That was a long time. And that was all for one charge. So now weren't you saying that that goes for three hours? Um, the battery I had running the vehicle was a 6,200 milliamp 2S. Right. right. And then from the other vehicles, you know, cause I never got any of them to wear it completely down. Yeah. Yeah. With the, um, gen eight over, you know, I'd unplugged the, uh, <laughs> this, yeah. This turbo for steering and the one for the lights, so that's why I wasn't doing anything for a second. Right. Um, Eleven hundred milliamp and those two S's that are from for the FPV standalone system, those should run. I'm guessing anywhere between an hour and a half to two hours straight. Okay. Still, that's a long time. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of time to get some footage down, or plenty of fun. That was funny because that was one of the things that I didn't think about when you were talking about all the FPV stuff was the heat. Being able to get rid of the heat. Yeah, you got to keep um, some type of in intake for ventilation on your leg sand body, especially yeah. if you a really tight enclosed chassis. Right. And exit way. That way, not only are your escalators and escalator cooling fans for your motor and ESC, 
getting a good fresh cool air burst for circulation and keeping cool but also it'll keep your video transmitter cool right <clears throat> couldn't you like rig up a uh, a fan system like on the inside of the body for like a crawler to blow oh, on yeah. it oh yeah you could literally put like a regular cpu fan that's the small enough yeah. diameter and just mount that in there and i'd do it horizontal to where it's blowing the air towards the rear of the vehicle yeah the way everything's being sucked in you can set up and basically build your own little radiator in there yeah that's that's what i would do because like i said i want to get a trx4 and i would love to have fpv for speed I, i'm kind of iffy with but i think it would be awesome in a crawler <laughs> On my max. <laughs> <laughs> so if it survives jumping ramps and rolling over and flipping and all that good stuff at 50 and 60 miles an hour, I think we're safe to say it'll work. Oh, yeah. Properly. You have a hole. Arsena says he has a hole in his roof uh, of his shredder with a fan in the roof. I usually, any kind of computer or PC board that I get, I always take the aluminum heat sinks off, like that one right there. If I'm going to throw away this whole board, I'll just take that heat sink off and I'll use the heat sink to draw heat away from something, anything. You know what I mean? It's just like yeah. scavenging parts. You know what I mean? Going to toss mm -hmm. this in the trash anyway. Might as well take the parts off of it that I could use. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to take the metal side panels off of that tower and uh, build you a crawler frame. Right. Even save all the fans. Yeah. You know? One of the computers that I just was given, it was an old tower. I stripped it. Actually, that's where I got this card from. That's why, that's why Chef, I, I want your address. I just want to send this to you. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'll totally take it. I'll hang it up on my wall. Right. But yeah, that battery link that I left, they're uh, 7.4 volt, 1100 milliamp with a JST plug. And I usually use them in those little WL toys, 949, 959, 969, you know, and whatever. Yeah. But they're the perfect size, very lightweight, plenty of endurance, and they're LiPo, rechargeable. So, you know, if you're getting close to two hours of uh, runtime on your FPV system out of one, and you already got two set up, you're ready to go more than what four to six hours yeah yeah get your practice on and then when you start filming you'll already look like a professional our senior wants to know uh do you use head tracking or link a pan servo in with the steering servo <clears throat> if you get a standalone gimbal and set up your camera on that for like say your slow motion crawlers that you want to run with i don't use the head tracking that's a little too expensive for me but as he was speaking he had a gimbal with his dji that does so with his goggles so if you could basically set that up on your transmitter when you uh steer parallel that line with a uh y splitter for your um, elevator and rudder you'd have to have at least a three to four channel radio and then you can use basically get a look around view that way. Nice. But that's All right, Gus, have a good night, man. Oh, Gus is taking off. That's right, because I don't have that second window open. It's good to see you in streaming tonight, Gus. Head tracking takes up two more channels on the receiver. That's some crazy tech, grumpy. I definitely, I'm definitely interested in that once I get a crawler like the TRX4. Well, in that case, get you a six channel transmitter for uh, drones, planes, boats, or cars. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Make sure that when you set your um, ESC up, that you start off with your midpoint right there centered instead of all the way down. That yeah. way you can get the full range of forward and reverse. And then, of course, change out your endpoints in your radio so you can get the sensitivity that you want. Because uh, I just ordered a new transmitter. It's only a four-channel 
But they're going to release a six-channel option because there's so many buttons on the controller. I got a black screen in my. Screen. Oh, that's definitely going to be part of it. Your 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 crawler doesn't even have axles under it. What kind of crawler do you have? <laughs> what? This crawler doesn't have axles. Yeah. Yeah, RC now I'm definitely gonna look into that. Once I get the TRX, that'll uh that'll come. I'll probably Venom, I'll probably be asking you some questions when I go to start doing that. Or even you are seeing it. It seems like uh you know a lot about it also. Come on. <laughs> it's a tank. I'll just have to uh Look into my archives of dinosaur knowledge and go, oh, yeah. And maybe <laughs> I'll remember. What is going on here? You're not getting any feedback from my end, are you? No. <clears throat> Nothing. You're good. Casey, you hope to get Boss Shark F FPV by the summer? Team Raffi extended chassis Defender 110 Pro. Nice. Did you see some of those uh, crawlers that were on the Facebook group today, guy? Yeah, I did. For Rock Crawler Wednesday, some of those are super nice. I know. Uh, Joe, <clears throat> Joe from the um, that other site that I that I moderate the R R Z Y X L thing. He's got a he's got a couple of nice things. FPV got RC in it, sucked into the hobby. How about that? Ronnie, you think the TRX four with V tread tires and four wheel steer is bad to the bone? That bad dude, that bitch has a beast. All right, Icon, have a good night. So, guy, did you shut your computer all the way down? It shut down itself. It just locked up. I yeah, just, I it, um, that's the first time it's ever done that. But I think what it was was because obviously I'm streaming. I'm on wireless, so it's killing it, you know, like that. Yeah. I also opened up, I think, too many windows because I've got the chat in one window. I've got the Facebook um, group in another window on the big screen TV. Yeah. And that because that's all running from the computer, like yeah. going from the computer to the screen. And then what I tried to do is I tried to share the screen. And as soon as I went to share the screen, that's when it just said, nope. Yeah, you definitely overloaded it. Yeah. Mr. Allen? Sorry, I'm horrible at reading. How you doing? Would that be Allende? I think it would be Allende, right? Mr. Allende. Allende, yeah. I think so. Is a snap on uh, body still together? I thought that would have been destroyed by now. That thing's actually pretty resilient from some of the crashes that he was doing with it. Yeah, I was surprised. Oh, now my phone's dying. Awesome. The next step is to incorporate the transmitter into a video game steering wheel and gas pedal, and is a big flat screen to use. Set of goggles. People are doing it already. I did see that. Um, uh, RC Sparks did that. He didn't have a TV. Well, he had an FPV set up, and he went around his dirt track with a fifth scale, like that. And then he did it again for like a little uh, truck. But uh, yeah, dude, that's super cool. I have, I actually have the steering wheel set up and stuff too. But it seems a little too intense for me. You know, 
some people are experiencing issues using the wide max with the steel dry shafts and aluminum hubs and won't hear know anything about it i wouldn't run aluminum hubs not a that's good just, idea that's just me personally it, it's it gets too strong you start breaking other things like if you're gonna run aluminum dry shafts and aluminum hubs i, I want to do it me personally well steel yeah steel yeah steel that's what i mean my my fault Oh, you saw your Steam Wolf from the PS2? That's awesome. <laughs> I've seen it. Come on, man. <laughs> I still have my PS2. So and, a, and a PS3. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the thing that a lot of people forget is that once you start making things overly strong, you're taking all that flex and energy and putting it to the other piece that's now... Yeah, it has to go somewhere. Right. Like, uh, like those guys that, like, I see people that, like, are asking, like, everyone's why I go through, like, Craigslist and stuff, they're asking, like, $400 for, like, a T-Max, and they're like, oh, it has all aluminum upgrades. I'm like, I wouldn't want those. Yeah. Like you're gonna, I, you're gonna spend like just let's just say sixty bucks on aluminum arms for the front. You're gonna bend them, and you're out sixty bucks. Here's the other thing too, though. You bend them. Let's just say you don't know what the manufacturer is that made all those aluminum parts that you now have to replace because you're breaking stuff. Now you're buying pairs. Yep. Like on purpose. And then you know what like, I mean. And I'd rather snap a, a, a plastic A-arm than rip my whole half of my bulkhead out. It's just that thing that people are expecting. I don't know. Like, you know, I mean, you know, a lot of people, even in the RCGG site, they ask questions like, you know, what's the best this? What's the best that? And it all depends upon how you drive. And it's like, when you're going to take, you know, I don't know. I don't even know what to, what to put it against. Just you're taking one like the, the Camo X4. And trying to do what the X Max can do, it's just it's not gonna, it's yeah, not gonna it's, happen. You can't. It just won't work. That's why the X Max is a grand. Uh, it's nine hundred. <laughs> yeah, <nine. laughs> before batteries, right? Casey, before, thanks for our sub. I appreciate before that. tax. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, normally the bulkheads. Yeah, I've seen wait a lot of people with aluminum parts rip bulkheads apart, man. Yes, are seeing it. Yeah, those guys, they stay, like, literally the day that they got turned on, they've never been turned off. So in conclusion, I would it would be just installing the wide max and leaving everything plastic. Yeah. If anything... Like I was saying earlier, like if you start breaking arms left and right, I would get RPM arms because I think they give more. Like I think that's part of the issue, uh, part of the reason why they last so long. Like I think they take the impacts better because they give a little bit of flex. Not so they're not so stiff like metal would be, but yeah. they have just enough. They they're already pre dipped in 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 uh, WD forty. Yeah, pretty much. I RPM, did. RPM just has a vat of our WD-40. Yeah, they just... They see, all there. the parts just go <laughs> through the process. I did... Uh, what's it called? I did with my mini Revo, though. I replaced... I put uh, steel uh, dry shafts in and in the middle because I kept ripping the plastic ones apart. But everything else is RPM around it. And I haven't had an issue with it yet. So... I think it obviously because you're dealing with a small one. Yeah, you once you're getting big, a thirty pound yeah, truck. Well, yeah, exactly. Once you're getting big, that's way different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking about that earlier. Uh, RPM wide max. I they're gonna. I mean, God was saying earlier they're probably gonna do it. Like, it would make sense. Yeah, it definitely would. You made a front chassis brace for your son's Merv. Yeah, I snapped a whole front of my chassis off once in a parked car.
Oh uh, yeah, Arsena, I did see that uh CGI FP FPV tank. It moves like in all directions, like you can go completely to the left or right without turning and stuff. Oh cool. DJI's weird thing there. Yeah, a little tank thing. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, it's expensive, but yeah. if me and like two of my buddies got it, playing that laser tag game would be a blast. <laughs> You made it after the first time after he drove it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty big. I watched a couple uh, reviews on it. Like I said, it's expensive, but if you and like two buddies got it, I'll just imagine just hanging back, drinking in the yard, just playing with the tanks, shooting at each other and stuff. Am, I, they... saying... Huh? Am I saying this guy's name right? Alende? I have no I, idea. I don't know if he ever answered. I don't use Traxxas batteries just because of Traxxas. Yeah, me neither. Because <laughs> you can't use anything but their chargers now. Like, they are they don't have their yeah. own external uh, balancers anymore, so you're kind of just stuck. Yeah. I was always curious, though, if I can get one used for, like, real cheap, if you take – because have you, you looked at a Traxxas battery, though, up close, right? Yeah, how they have those wires for the balancer? If you cut that sh that uh, shrink wrap off, are they normal like balancing wires? I don't know. That's like my one question. I'm just curious how it works. I wouldn't. The thing is, though, is I wouldn't even waste my time bothering with it just because if you start tearing stuff apart, then you're ruining your battery pack that you just paid an extra 20% for because it says Trax is on it. Yeah, no, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> but, like, I'm just curious to, like, how it works. No, I use, um, obviously, I use HRB because that's what's right there, and there's a big stack of HRBs right there. I have a lot more HRBs than anything else. I use Ovonic. I use Reaction. Um, what else do I use? Oh, and I do have one or two. I do have two of those smart packs, the uh, special uh, smart technology packs. And then, oh, and I do have, I actually do have a bunch of, um, what are they called there? Zot powers. But the problem with the Zot powers, it's like a, I don't want to say it's a 50 50 shot whether you get one that lasts, because it seems like the first. The first batch of Zot powers that I got, I got four, four, four batteries. I got two 3S and two 2S. One of the 2S batteries, right out of the gate, one of the cells was dead. Um, that was that was ridiculous. And, and trying to deal with like uh, Banggood, the, the the craziness is is that there was no there was no recollection on their part that they even sold me a battery. I actually had to prove that I had the box with the SKU and all the every I had to like come up with all this stuff. There was just like for the amount of money that I paid for the battery, forget it. And it's whatever. I just took the battery pack and just threw it away. Uh guy, you want to tell Mr. I don't know how to say his name, Al Al, okay. Al, Al I think. Yeah. Um what kind of charger you have? Because you brought it up oh, the other night. H, it's a HTRC uh uh, T2240 Duo. Yeah, that's on my Amazon wish list. I'm totally going to get this charger, guys. That one right there. It's a touch screen. It literally charges every single battery. You could even charge the battery in your car with this thing if you wanted. And it's only like 80 bucks right now. Yeah. Uh, you can get it on Banggood, I think, for like 68 or something like that. I did actually have a good – I had a good sale on that. What did I say? It was over a year ago now. Two years ago? I can't remember now. might have been a year ago. I, think I had 63 bucks. On the multi-connecting port, and it's a high-tech – I can use that to charge car batteries. Right. Pretty much any other chemistry. Yeah. And with that multi connector on there, pretty much everything. And if you can't find every specific battery, you can go to your local hobby store and you can get the adapter plugs for them. Right. And then I got the Traxxas charger for two or three S batteries. 
it'll not only charge Traxxas batteries, but there's a little slot in the front you pull off, and then it'll also balance charge those that are non Traxxas. You have to put them in manual mode. And if you get the one that's for uh, 3 or 4S, you can do 2, 3, or 4S on it. And even if it's not a Traxxas battery, I got the one with the live app so that basically I can monitor the charge on the battery even when I'm not near it. And you can, uh, instead of putting it on manual mode, you can program the type of battery it is, how many cells it is into a profile, and then it'll recognize it when you plug it in and run the app and you'll be able to charge pretty much whatever battery that way. Right. All then right. As, as far as adapters go, this is just my own personal opinion. Never go with these kind of adapters. Always get this kind. <laughs> Forget the wires. Get this kind. More of a direct connection. Oh, yeah. This is power loss and heat and fire right here. Yep. How do I know? Didn't have a fire, but it was damn close. If I go that route, I solder my own. My wires melted. Oh, yeah, that's what I did. I actually I actually made my – when I didn't have an adapter, I just made my own. This one right here. I needed I needed a male Deans to a female XT60. Uh, so I just made my own with a little heat shrink on there, and perfect. It's probably better than the other ones. I just didn't have the right size heat, heat shrink. That was my only issue. Leave the RC and it said, Leave the fire to me. <laughs> Leave the fire to me, guy. I got it down. That's my thing. That it reminds nope. me when I first wired up that dual prop plane. I had oh, it. Can I please type the name of the charger. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'll give you a link to it. That'll actually be better. Oh, watch my computer's going to shut down again. Careful, guy. <laughs> He's I don't know why the stream. Why the I know, stream isn't that awesome? Going. My whole computer shuts down, the stream stays. I guess we, I, don't, I don't know. It's so weird. But you know what's funny is though that's that's how somebody can get like on YouTube and not. You just gotta use somebody else's account. You get the recognition. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go on under somebody else's account. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just stays, and it's basically your YouTube. Oh man. Hey, we tried to carry the load for you while you were absent. Oh, you guys did it. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking for? I got a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt said, it's okay. We'll keep it going without you. <laughs> hey. Arsene, even if you just make it for our group, just make a Facebook for our group. Don't do anything else but our group. It's a good group of guys. There's a lot of, like, there's pictures, people talking about what they're working on. It's a cool group. Definitely worth just for that. And like, like, uh, cause obviously I was on, but you saw that, right, chef? Yeah. The, the YouTube was still going on my phone while I was live streaming on Facebook. Yeah. It was like streamception, which, which was nuts. Yeah, exactly. Streamception. <laughs> that was nuts. I'm just trying to find that, uh, Link. I'll just. I'll literally just give you a direct link to it, and you can see it yourself. I've seen it. Uh, I don't know about the knowledge part. Maybe Venom and Guy. I'm just more of a go with it, figure it out kind of guy. That's more like what I am too, though. Venom. Yeah, Venom is, is. Venom is actually more of a um, intellectual concerning this stuff. And also, if Lane ever came on here, Lane wait. Same thing. A lot of knowledge. Earl's got a lot of knowledge. It's quiet. Did it die again? Uh, no, you're good. And so did uh, you know who has a lot of knowledge of fifth scale? Foundry. He's like the fifth scale guy. Him and Botagel. Yeah, Botagel. I like Botagel's stuff too. Like his uh, his videos. That's how the, I only thing, the only thing that I that I have to do is make sure if I've got Boda Gel's video on, I gotta make sure there's nobody else in the house. Yeah, he's well, he's one of those channels that you were talking about. Yeah, if this was my channel, it would be a little wording would be a little different. Yeah, especially after like that whole kids thing, he kind of just doesn't just goes for it now. 
Now, what do you what do you talk about? What happened? Well, with the you know with the YouTube, oh the Coppa, the Coppa stuff. Yeah. So he's kind of like, all right, fine. Like it's adults only. It's adults only. You know what I mean? So right there, um, Mr. Allende, I think that's your name. That's the um, link. That's a direct link to where I got it from. Now you see that right there? You see that one that got blocked? Yeah. That one, I don't know why that's blocked. Yeah, it's just, I we had something like that earlier too. Because it says cuss, I think. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, I don't I don't set an age. Uh, well, actually on my channel everything is uh 17 and older or whatever. Um, but it's it's just the way it is in my own house though. That's the way I run my job site too. None of my guys swear because it's just you, you just don't. If you're dealing with a homeowner situation, the biggest thing if you're in somebody else's house Respect. and your guys are swearing and your guys are flicking cigarette butts everywhere, that, that that's that's on you, the owner. And, you know, the biggest thing was always, you know, people saying, you know, why are you a prude or whatever they were saying that I was. I said, no. I said, you know, think about it if it was your own mother or your sister. Or your well, that is how they talk. Well, then that's how it works for your family, but it doesn't work like that for my family. But the biggest thing was, the guys would be like, oh, there's a girl coming. Everybody be quiet. It's like, well, if you just, if you act in that way on the job site anyway, then that's never an issue. You know? Yeah, exactly. I it's respect like that. Jeff, it's like you. It's like where you work. If all of a sudden you exploded in the back room, I mean, and all the customers are hearing this guy take a fit. You know yeah, what I mean? Gonna that, like, uh, we're going to, we're going to leave. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry, Sally. I had to cover your eyes and your ears. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm trying to do the same thing with my channel. Um, right. I'm trying not to curse and stuff. I'm not saying right. stuff won't come out. Well, yeah. But um, like I'm trying to keep it as like, like not. I want to say family friendly because it's not. We're gonna have like jokes and stuff. But yeah, like, yeah. of course. Just because then you just you kind of sound kind of like crappy too when you're like effing everything left and right. Yeah. Like, you know what will happen is potentially if you watch your own, like, let's just, just say you did a video and you just let loose. And then you watch that video later and be like, wow, I really, yeah, I really, I didn't realize I sounded like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Foundry right there saying he's not, I'm not worried about it either. About the, uh, you, you're talking about the, um, the copper thing. I, I totally think people were taking it way out of proportion myself. I was just like, you know what? Whatever. I'm not taking my channel down. This is what it is now. And because there was somebody um, that was in my live streams for a while, and they, they took their whole channel down because they were afraid of getting fined. It was just like, just leave it. And, like, if your stuff literally is not directed to, like, children, meaning if you don't – if you – yeah, if you've got, like, puppets talking – <laughs> yeah yeah it's gonna draw kids but here's the thing too though with all the way that they're thinking about uh trying to block kids from looking at inappropriate content or whatever what's the worst thing that you could do is tell a kid not to watch it yeah exactly or, or if or if something's printed only 18 plus well of course the kid's gonna be like "Ooh, i wonder what that means you know what i mean it's oh, almost yeah. like it's more of a draw Trying to make your channel advertiser friendly, therefore it's family friendly. I respect that, Foundry. Right, and that's the big thing right there: keeping your channel advertiser friendly. That's why, like with me, even with my Facebook site, it's it's that same thing. And with this, you have to, like the individual that that runs the show, they have to think about this is this is potentially their job. This is a form of income. This is. You know what I mean? There's there's more than just morals. It's it's literally like it matters across the board. Yeah. You know, because advertisers aren't going to want to put ads on a channel that is all f bombs and you know talking about Pelosi and Trump. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's what my personal Facebook is right, for. <laughs> right. Right. 
I know. Yeah, right. Kurt, $30 cars, not $300 cars. Actually, add a zero on that if you go over to Talbot's site. $3,000. That Raminator. And from Foundry, his Raminator. Oh, my God. Yeah. Foundry, are you going to put four-wheel steer on yours? Yeah, feedback now. Right. Right. Grumpy's right. Right there. Because that stuff might be eligible for monetization, will not be afloated with profanity. Exactly. Is it the Spartan 6S? Dan's first video posted. I'm watching it right now. I want to get that jet boat, the Thrasher. Super bad. It'd be great for the uh, creek behind my house. Sorry if you guys are talking. I'm not seeing chat right now. I'm going to watch this video. What was that? I just said uh, I'm not. I'm not seeing chat right now. I'm watching this uh, Spartan oh. video. Oh, wrong one. Dang, posted the wrong thing. See what happens when you leave. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> There we go. That's better. Foundry, you jumping on or what, brother? Yeah, you say you might go to bed soon. It's been like an hour, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's laying in bed. He's on his phone now. I do. I do that like the night. Yep. I said I had to be up in five hours. I laid in bed. And I got just got back on. <laughs> Comments are turned off. I can't say something nice. Comment. Turn Why do you have your comments turned off? Andre, <laughs> man, that boat looks like it rips, man. You know, it's funny. So during the pop out, I can't click on. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Oh, you uh, started to put it on today. It's awesome. Boundary. I'm with Foundry. Let us comment. Thank goodness for nice magnetic tools. Yeah, magnetic tools are a way to go. I had one of those grub screws I was taking out of that axle link, and I was looking around for it like, where did it go? I said, oh, it's on the end of the tool. Stuck on the end, right? Now that's cool. Dan's video with the boat. Yeah. I get I you know, man, I miss my boat now. I wanna have you looked up the Thrasher yet, guy? No, I haven't. It's awesome. Go to their website. Like it's there's a video I think RC Sparks put out. They put a ramp in the creek. Or creek, sorry, I say creek. That's all right. Beh behind their house. I know where you're like, from. Yeah, there's I like background. There's like two or three inches of water, and they're just slamming in the rocks, jumping it off a ramp, slamming it in, and the thing holds up. The thing's awesome. It's called the Thrasher. I want it. What is it? Uh, by Streamline RC. Uh, I so believe so. I'll, I'll put, your jet boat. Yeah, they're like hard bottom. Like yeah, I you see can, it. I see it. Beat them, dude. And they have a self right feature, so if they take on water, it goes nose up, has a bilge pump, it pumps the water out, and it, you can just keep ripping. Oh man. Yeah, that's the boat I want. Like I when have, I get, I have ponds. Well, we live in Plymouth. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing about Plymouth is Plymouth has three hundred and sixty five ponds. So it has a pond for every day of the year. <laughs> you should do that. That'd be a cool video. A pond every day. Pond every day. And, and the water he was on looks like glass too. Yeah. There's a, a he just did a more recent video. I don't know if you're watching the one where he's in the creek and they're like slamming into rocks and like jumping off a ramp. They're designed they're called the bash that people call them the bashing boat. Right. They have like the hard bottom and stuff. 
Like when I get a boat, that's what I'm getting. Actually, especially when I go like kayaking and stuff, it'd be perfect for that. How do you turn on commenting? Uh, you can go to your videos underneath your uh, what was called. Well, underneath the videos, you can change the options on YouTube. How much is that boat? Seven hundred. Oh. Yeah. Shut that off. <laughs> but but there's nothing like that boat. Ouch. There's nothing like that no, boat. No, I get it. I get it, but you you have to see RC Sparks video when they're when they're in the creek though. It's like when he's in like just a couple inches of water and just slamming in the oh, rock. That's what it looks like. It looks like literally it's just the ribs that are in the water. Yeah, I think it's, and it holds and you up. Can see, yeah, you can see the bilge going too. Yeah. It's like the best boat. Like it ah. gets the water out, everything. Yeah. He drove it up a dam. Like I, I I get that. I get it. Because the self right feature is a big one right there just because I know what it's like when I was a kid and I had to take my canoe and go get my boat that was sinking. I had to use a fishing pole like, for mine. Yeah. I tried to hook it with a fishing hook. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> the prop fell off. I had oh, I remember that win. sound. Win, win, win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're like, no. Oh, oh, just vibrates. Matt, there you are. Where have you been, man? Y'all talking about that mini thrasher? It's like red and white. Yeah, it's, yeah uh, they, actually, there's a few I, different colors, yeah. I had one of those about four months ago. Oops. I got it for a Christmas gift to uh, my, my nephew. Yeah. He's been loving it. Yeah, man, that thing's sweet. Did you see the new... Attach that they have on the back so you can redirect the jet in different directions so it can ride differently. No. Yeah. So you can adjust the jet up or down. You see it? It's in like rapids right now. I see that. The <laughs> thing is awesome, guys. That is oh, you were sick crazy. today. Oh, you were real sick running your uh, RC at work, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, sick. that's definitely my kind of boat right there. Yeah, that thing is cool. Yeah, it's. I think it's six S too. Well, don't forget, um, Mets does have uh, the fibromyalgia too. He may have been. Oh yeah, flaring up. So now you make me feel bad, guy. I'm trying to trying to so mess I... with the guy, and all of a sudden you just bring me down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, they do have that boat, Andre. The prop fell off the bumper boat when I was a kid in a big pond. I think it traumatized me. Now. <laughs> How's it going? But yeah, when I go kayaking, I think that boat would be a blast to have. Are you kidding me? RC Tanks and Trucks has two of those? <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I'm. that's the boat I need in my life. Did say in something he didn't hear how to turn on comments? Yeah, on YouTube. Oh. Rich <laughs> people, smash. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, did you get any of those parts yet? For your uh, Fisco? Your Rampage, that's what it's called. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think he would. That'd be way fast, wouldn't it? Yeah, you never know. The guy can dream, right? He lives in the south. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my parts won't be here until the it's end. Coming, of it's coming by horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually, it's coming by the horse and buggy. You know, the one that only goes like thirty or whatever yeah. it is on, the, on the roads there. Those special buggies. Yeah, he hasn't ordered a thing yet. Oh, come on. Well, you know why? Because his wallet right now is looking like this. <laughs> Ronnie's in the South too. Yep. Love hate relationship. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out how to turn. All right, Kurt. We'll see you later, man. God, do you know how he can turn the comments on for his uh, boat video? Turn, turn the comments on for his boat video. Yeah, because you know how the comments are turned off. He was asking how to turn them, how to allow comments. I seen the option the other day when I was uploading, but I forgot where they were. 
geez, that's nothing that I've ever even seen that I remember seeing. Let's see. Venom. I've just got that jet boat just playing. Yeah, yeah you want it, don't you? <laughs> uh, is, so, uh, are seeing it as the Venom? What? What do you think about eight-wheel tank type vehicles that two people with FPV goggles operate? That's my next project to to see on fire. <laughs> I'm very de I'm very determined to make it work. Um, eight-wheel drive depends on how many uh, wheels he's going with steering. If it's the front and the very rear steering, that's fine. If you do the crab crawl kind of thing in the front two axles, that's great. But trying to get all of them to steer at once seems like you're going to be drawing too many amps and too much power out of your escalator and battery. I found your answer to your question. YouTube Studio videos edit. I don't know if you guys if you've seen that, bud. If the video is marked for kids, comments will be turned off. Thanks, Foundry. Four motors, ESC combos with four transmissions. That's going to be a beast of a vehicle. Yeah, and he's going to need uh, at least... Six right. wheel drive axles, telescoping. Might want to find those on wish.com to get them in pairs or three or four at a time. Pretty cheap. All right. So to tell you exactly how to get into, um, uh, who was asking? It was Dan, right? I think he fixed it. Oh, he did? Because yeah. did he fix it? Yeah, it was set for just kids. So, But there is actually a way to disable comments, hold all comments for re review, hold potentially inappropriate comments, and then allow all. So there's actually four different uh, things that you can choose. It's actually in the details of YouTube Studio. You go into details of your video. You go to comments and ratings. And then in that, there's a drop-down box, and it gives you four options. Maybe that, I don't know. Nice. It's good to know for me, too, because I was I knew I'd seen it before. I just didn't know where it was. Uh, our scene, it said, each side steers by the wheel speed, just like tanks do. Tanks, but no track. That's a pretty cool idea, man. Is Fog City in here? Oh, what's up, Fog? Where is he? He said, RC guy, 2K, oh. baby, 2K. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. It's crazy, man. It's actually, right now, it's at uh, uh, 2021. That's awesome. It's it's insane. It says, in the last 28 days, I've gained 349 subscribers in the last 28 days. That's crazy. You know what's funny, though? What it doesn't tell you is how many subscribers you lost. I've done the math. It doesn't play out. Because <laughs> no. like I said, I was actually at that 2000, 2001, 2002, and then I checked again, and it went below, like, 1996. And I was like, ah, all right, well, that didn't last long. And then went to sleep, and it, when I woke up, I think it was this morning when I woke up, it was uh, 20, 2016 or something like that. Yeah, the the one guy that joined the Facebook group today, I went to check to make sure he answered all the questions. Yeah, and he he like typed out like everything, like he found found the Facebook through your uh, bucket video and all this stuff. Right, it's pretty cool, man. I'm happy for you, man. That's so cool. It's crazy. It really is crazy. Paul, are you hopping in? Who's gonna hop in? I was asking if Fog was hopping in. I don't know if he is or not. I didn't see no pop. The uh, uh, I think I gotta do. I have to get out of the share screen. Mister Al Aladine, I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name. Uh, there is a Facebook page. It's uh, RC Guy Garage. Not tonight, fog. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Chef, you'd probably fight me right now if you saw how many windows are open on my computer. <laughs> you like you're trying to do it again. That would be hysterical if sometimes, it crashed again. Sometimes literally it's by accident though. I forget to close certain windows. Is one still the jet boat? No, I I did close. Did I close that? Yeah, it's closed. <laughs> Let's see. If anybody's looking for that RCGG site that we keep talking about, it's actually oh, it did it again. It did the wrong one. Why does it keep doing that? That's not the right one. Uh, Miguel, if you're in chat, you got to uh, answer the questions if you want to. Uh, become a part of the Facebook. I don't know if you're in here or not. Let's see. Where'd it go? I'll try it one more time. There we go. I think I got it this time. There we go. Now it's there. Okay, cool. Sorry, I wasn't sure if that was you or not, so. Hey, Google, shut up. <laughs> Chef, you're so mean to me. <laughs> if that was Alexa, Alexa would talk back to you. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. It just randomly started talking. All right, you should be good now. That's when you. That's when you ask Google, like, like with you. That's when you ask Google, like, because if you had a, a a thing to go in that wasn't your headphones, yeah, people have messed with people, and like. Hey Google, what's my address? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that's part of the reason why I wear and it, these. And it displays it. What's my location? It's Big Brother listening. Yeah, pretty much. Mets, what are you up to? I know you say you just woke up. You uh, tinker or anything? You're always working on something. <laughs> just another Star Wars collector. Ask you to join the group. I saw that. He hasn't answered any questions yet. No. Up to 120 members on your Facebook, too, man. I know, isn't that crazy? Cool. I don't know how you see that so fast. I'm on the page. I don't even know where to look. I I got the update on my phone. Yeah, see, the phone shows things different. Yeah, than yeah. The regular page does. They're not Less working on anything tonight? 120. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Mats, are you buzzing me again? Are oh, you looking at the stuff Walter posted? <laughs> Got to answer those questions, guys. Yeah, I thought I was taking a prac test or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 important. It's just just so people understand. That's all. That it's not you know a site to come on and you know cause trouble. You know, be a troll. We're all just you know trying to have you know a good time and. And then they came back and said, "Do you still want to join the group?" And I was right, like, oh. right. <laughs> Are you sure? Do you guys know the dimensions of bearings to be installed in the wheel wheelie bar wheels of what? It'll be funny. 
some of the questions. What's your social security number? What's your bank account? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you mean? Wow, what kind of site is this? The max? I don't know the bearing size of the wheelie bar wheels. I'll find that out for you if you want. Look at that. You answer all the questions? I, I think I added you already. Hey, actually, you know what? I can actually switch the camera. There are no bearings in the wheels. I thought there were. Not in the wheelie bar wheels. No? I, I haven't taken it apart. Well, you know what? I'm going to rip it apart anyway now because I'm curious. It is. I, uh, what, is it just running on a sleeve? Uh, the sleeve, and it looks like some um, plastic. A sleeve and plastic? What should the topic be tomorrow for the uh, Thursday? I was thinking Thrasher Thursday. I was thinking the same thing at work. So, I just took it out to give a visual. The camera did not want to hook up for some reason. Nope. I think I've got too many. You know what? I think I've got too many things open again. The computer's probably going to crash soon. Don't do it, guy. I know. I just tried to switch camera, and it won't switch back. <laughs> Let's close some windows down here so this thing doesn't flip out. I'm glad it's Thursday tomorrow. I'm off. All right. Let's try this again. Go to this one. Go to this one. All right. No camera. Nice. There we go. There you are. So what it is, is it's just uh, the wheel. And like Venom was saying, it's actually an insert. Just a plastic insert. There is a, I guess you want to maybe call it like a plastic bearing on the end, but it's not, it's not metal. Huh. So it's just a little plastic piece that kind of rides on another plastic piece. That is an insert that actually slides into the large hole. And then there's another sleeve <laughs> on the other end that just popped out. So, you know, what's funny is it actually would be a good idea to go ahead and blow those apart and clean those. Make sure you look for a video for cleaning your wheelie <laughs> bar wheels. We'll give a pro tip. <laughs> Thanks to Venom. <laughs> there are no bearings. Can you upgrade it using ball bearings? Yeah, but why would you, though? Yeah, I don't... Then you're, you're pushing things. You're wasting money where it doesn't need to be... Spend your money somewhere else. I mean, you can. I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah, if you do an upgrade like that, you need to go ahead and just customize a full drag length wheelie bar. There you Something go. That'll help you keep those front wheels down when you're accelerating over a quarter throttle. Yep. Right. I had the idea. I just haven't built it yet. <laughs> yeah, there was actually, uh, I think somebody posted a, a speed run on our uh, Facebook site where um, whatever it was, they couldn't go full throttle. It just, the, the truck just kept lifting. It just, they were trying to get a nice speed run out of it, but couldn't get full throttle because it would just take off. The Creighton uh, 6S does the same thing. Yeah. It's really so tough. It'll backflip. <laughs> There we go. Hey, look at that. It worked. Yeah, I definitely like the overhead view when you're working on stuff. Yeah, it is definitely cool. Hey, I'm going to see something like that up in the shed with the second camera hey, I got. Oh, n never mind. Same color. Uh, same wide body kit, only mine is blue. Oh, yeah, and I didn't stick with the stock tires. I put the hatchet MPs on mine. Yeah, that's right. Yep. 
Now, the wheels on this are already cracking, you know, all the way around the whole bead, you know, just because of, you know, hitting stuff. Here's the, uh, here's the pounder. Yeah, man, I love the way that looks, man. The old school look, man. I think that's yeah. awesome. You know what's funny is I, I actually did put. Uh, I can't take it off now. I took the um, I took the old Traxxas wheels, and I put the I just mocked up because it it gives that real old school look. Those real tires. Yeah, man. And it just had you know it just has a different you know look to it. But obviously the hex on you know on the hex on these uh, Emacs is is a little bit bigger than uh, what's on that ground pounder because the ground pounder is not designed to you know take a real beating like you know more like this thing did. Yeah. So the pins are different. The shafts the shafts are the same, but the pin you have to drill out the hole. Just too much. Uh, just waste of time. Now on your Max, I'd suggest to get some. Uh, I'm gonna share a link. They're on uh, eBay. There are some belted, taller tires which are yep. closer to the size of the hatchets I'm running. For this, very wide for on road as well. Right for this. Uh huh. Yeah, definitely. And they've even got the blue anodized uh, paint on the wheels. You know what I want to link to? I want to link to the tires you put on your Gen Eight. I like that look. Now that's a nasty look. Those are lockup MTs, right? I like you know. I I mean, maybe it's like the car guy in me, the classic car guy, Camaro, <laughs> Fiber, <laughs> Trans Am. White leather tires are where, even my even big black. I've got brand new tires sitting in my garage, in my uh, not my garage, in my uh, trailer. Mm -hmm. Brand new tires. They're Radar Renegade R sevens with white letters. It just, and they're going on this spring. Oh yeah. I wanted to get my last season uh, plowing out of those tires, which I haven't even plowed yet. So, I, I plowed one storm so far. <laughs> it's getting a little ridiculous. Yeah, yeah six, even seven. before the wide body kit was available, I had those hatchet MTs on my Max. And right. As far as that rolling over sideways stuff, I was doing 30 mile an hour turns, not rolling over. Yeah. Right. Yep. And now with the wide body kit too, it's just the ultimate monster beast. Um, with those hatchets though, isn't it isn't there a considerable weight difference? Not much. The stock right. tires weigh about 70% of what the hatchets do. Now on your max, are you getting over temp at all? The only time I do that is if I go mashing full throttle for well over 20 minutes. Okay. And the right. fact that I ventilate at the front, I don't yeah. have that. I do start getting heat issues or cogging issues when I use the large belted. Um, they're the um, the belted pro lines. Yeah. Um, the trenchers. Yeah. Now those, I'll, I'll start getting heat issues. But these are about the same size. But the fact that they're not belted. You get that little extra traction when they do balloon, and they're a lot lighter weight. Right. But the footprint is about the exact same. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely, whatever whatever links you want to throw on there, go ahead, because it's just sharing with everybody. Well, I got to keep some of my secrets in the phone. Oh, well, yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no, that's, that's fine, too. <laughs> well, I'm just kidding. I, I actually like it when uh, people go out and customize those and like my ideas. That's why I put them on there. I knew somebody would like it. Well, here's the thing, too, is if that uh, – the other thing is if I ever use anybody else's idea, like even like with Earl on um, on the, the Max video, even though I didn't, you know, do anything concerning Springs or, or whatever, I still referenced his channel to everybody because – and I point blank said, if you want to get ahead of the game, just go over to this guy's channel and check out this link because he already did the work. If you don't want to learn, you learn it yourself and you just want to literally just bang. I just want to drive it. I want I want someone to tell me I need 90 weight in the rear and 70 in the front or however it is. He did a lot of like tuning between two two maxes to get it to where the point 
for him to get it to the point where it is now in the weather that he has, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing that people need to realize too, is that just because somebody's settings in one location or part of the planet work for them, you have to remember that or take into account that, you know, if you're in a colder climate, just like regular motor oil for your car or the way it used to be, you've got to sometimes have the right weight oil for your engine. So you have to have the right weight oil for your driving conditions for these little RC cars. All right, Foundry, have a good night, bud. These little RC cars will be more affected than, you know, a regular car. So, because mm -hmm. it's all small. It's scaled, scaled down, but the weather's not scaled down. <laughs> right? And they're lower to the ground. Right. <laughs> oh. Right? Oh, oh. I keep doing that. <laughs> the three, uh, 3 3.8 trenches broke almost everything in Revo transmission. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ronnie, 100% with the Nitro. They stripped out all the gears in my transmission three times. Of the, the original nylon gear, two steel gears, and when I started noticing that um, I'd hear the sound of the motor revving, but um, I get to looking at it, crack it open, and I see, oh, that's why. All but like three teeth were gone off of that gear. Man. And that's because of the trenchers, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so never had that problem. So I was like, you know what? Same size, same look, white wall effect. I think I'll stick with those. <laughs> right. Man. But I've got a 52T and a 46T um, RPM or HPI racing hardened steel gears. I'm going to give those a try whenever I really feel like going back up to the belted. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yep. And then I'll still have to watch out for heat issues because they're a lot heavier. Yeah. So far, I haven't really, I don't know, had the need really for belted tires. I understand the, the, the whole concept of it, but the way I look at it, if you're, if you're pushing your RC that hard, you're gonna go even faster if you if your wheels are balloon <laughs> ballooning. That's for sure. They made your Emacs do standing backflips and sugar sand. Here's a question too: Is uh, do you lose air control when your wheels no longer balloon? Actually, no. Okay. The only thing that you'll lose when your wheels don't balloon is the ability to recover from a when you start popping a wheelie as yep. you take off in the norm, yeah, it'll be less likely because even though the tires aren't ballooning, you're getting that extra speed, it's still on the ground. When they balloon, they actually reach up and they'll ignore that wheelie bar. I right. ran it probably about 50% throttle for the first week. Every time I got close to 50% throttle, it would literally flip up onto its back and keep sliding forward. Okay. And you know how you've got those raised uh, roof protectors that are incorporated in the roll cage? Yeah. yeah. At the top? Well, yeah. mine are all smooth now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're sanded down. <laughs> Thank the asphalt and, and the concrete for that. Uh huh. Wonder if the Max Green Body is available yet. Good question. Should be. The shop I was working at had one come in and somebody snatched it up. Are you talking about for the Max or the X? Oh, so that so you are the, the shop that already had it then. Yeah, I think the Max had they had one in. Yeah. I, I went ahead and got a clear body and I got an additional uh support roll cage and all that stuff so that when I finally do grind that one to the bone, I can change it out and keep going. Yeah, Trap Ninja it, just said green is available. Where at? Because I don't see it online Check right now. Uh, you know what's funny? is That's what Traxxas has been doing, weirdly. Um, sometimes they'll actually give it to the shops first, which mm -hmm. is weird, before the online. Yeah. 
That's the same way they did when they brought the Max out. They they uh, demoed the ones with the lights. Right? Yeah. So I almost got the orange one with the lights, but it was a hundred bucks more. I understand yeah. why, but I said, nah, I'm going to do my own lights. So I got the blue one. Yeah, that's what I got sitting right here. It's not even open. Sure. It's not even open. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little more fun when you put them on where you want them. Yeah. The thing yeah. that's coolest about that light kit is when you hit reverse, you get reverse lights that come on. Right. And, of course, they stay bright the entire time, but so do the aftermarkets. Right. I ended up getting those at cost. That's the only reason why I got them. Oh, uh, you can't beat that then? No. Well, you can if you work for a hobby town. Right. Yeah. You get a discount. Right. I, I grabbed my Max. It was going to be that or the Creighton 8S or the Low C Super Rock Ray. Yeah. And I kept going, eeny, meeny, miny, uh, forget it. Just give me the Max. It's yep. small enough to fit in my apartment along with my other rigs. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. I didn't even know it was like out yet when I called my hobby town. I said, like, look, I'm looking to pre-order the Max. And they're like, oh, we have two here in stock right now. I was like, ah, oh, we'll be there in a half hour. Yeah. <laughs> Picked it up. Yeah, I pre-ordered the Max and the... Because the Max and the... Um, DB Pro came out at the same time. Oh, yeah. And I, I just pre-ordered both of them as soon as I realized that they were out and available just pre-ordered them and as soon as they get the kim axe came in first and uh the db pro came in the next day i kind of wish it was the opposite i pre-ordered and waited about six weeks on the wide body kit yeah as soon as i heard word it was coming out i said yep gotta have it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that's definitely something i need to get my hands on i don't know why i'm dragging my feet Oh, it holds up. I've got a few scrapes on mine where, you know, I like bash and run off road and back on the road and hop curbs and all that good stuff. Right. Just a few scrapes, but nothing looks like it would have been a weak point to break anything yet. Yeah. 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 The only thing I don't like about Googling Max parts is X Max always shows up. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the things I noticed. You you specifically type in Traxxas Max, and the first thing that will show up is X Max. Is yeah, it's like I know I won't get it out of my face. Right. Well, that's that Traxxas does that on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of weird for me. I'm finally able to view the chat. You know, I had to log on again, you know, on my laptop. And it's a good thing the audio speaker for it was dead, and I had to recharge it. Otherwise, you'd be catching all that background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Erevo 2.0 is 579. And that's without a battery. Yeah. I thought it was... I didn't think that the uh, price was so close to the max. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, the white wide max club for the Facebook page. <laughs> Hi, Ronnie. Have a good night. Well, you know what's funny is uh, my LHS... That's what his so everything in his shop is basically red and black, but all his vehicles, like everything that he does, that's like a um, that's a reckless hobbies uh, branded, I guess you want to say race vehicle or a upda upgraded vehicle. It's all white. So he's got like the he'll have the like the white um, the G wagon. He's got the white X Max. He's got uh, the white. What else does he have? I think it's a Revo. Something like that. But like his shop vehicles are all white with just like reckless stickers on them. Hmm. E Revo is on sale for $4.99. That's pretty good. 
I had an E-Revo 2.0. Sold it, though. What made you sell it? I never ran it. Yeah. I had it for like three months, and I just took it out of the box. I even put the limiting straps on the back because they're known to blow the uh, shocks apart because it tra the travel's too far in the back. I put lim the limiting straps on it, had uh, four batteries, and just, just never ran it. I don't know why. I want to get one of those mini re revos. I have one. I love it. <laughs> well, you, know what, you know what's funny is um, Asterian uh, made a comment on one of the uh, YouTube. I think it was actually on that Ground Pounder video today. And he was just basically like, you know, it's nice that, you know, you've got your, you know, RC, whatever, growing. But what about that vehicle right there? Like, what's going on with it? When are you going to drive it again? When are you going to stop the front shocks from leaking? You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's just like you get, I don't know, you get locked in on messing around with one that you just want to keep driving it and keep driving it. And then it's, it's sometimes I find it's hard to switch over to another one and then drive that. Like I haven't, since I replaced or fixed, fixed uh, 2.0. I got the batteries charged. I actually topped them off today because I thought I was going to take it out today. They're still charged. I just, I have the intent to go out, but I just, I didn't. I was doing other stuff, you know? First world problems, man. That's why you get like a crawler, a mini right. crawler. Right. Uh, another crawler. And then a basher. And then a drill. <laughs> <laughs> So that in between batteries charging, you can be running your other rig. Right, right. I saw some ideas for indoor crawler courses. I said, "Wow, now I've got a project to take up some more space in my place." Yep. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I know. I need a mini crawler first. That's, that's that's what that's what actually Chef was talking about when he does his um shed. He's gonna. He's going to create a track along the walls. Yeah. I would love to for a mini crawler to go up on the walls and stuff. Yep. I'm trying to get my buddy to, to uh, get a crawler because he has like a bigger garage. I was like, dude, we can set up, we can just throw tools and stuff on the ground and make piles of stuff and just start crawling over them. What I should do tomorrow, seeing that tomorrow's not going to be that bad of a day, is I should clean up my track, take all my brush. That I've been collecting because of landscaping. I take all the brush home and I burn it all. And I put yeah. all the ash in my garden. Um, I've got just massive piles of, of brush. I should just burn it all tomorrow and throw all the ash in my garden and clean up my track and start ripping it on the track again. I made yeah, a nice track in my backyard, but it's all literally it's all brush piles now. Mm. Would be uh, it would be pretty cool. I see it. It's got a um, it's got a fire pit in the middle of it. Oh, that's cool. You sit yeah. around in the fire pit, drink some beers, run the RC yep. truck. That's cool, man. Yep. That's a good idea. Yep. Another good idea is on the outskirts of your track, make your crawler course there. Get lazy I, with some of that brush. Well, you know what? I've actually got a center section that's um, all boulders for the crawler. Ah. They're so all set up. Yep. Yeah, it actually was. Um, it was actually the the DC one, the Habao DC one. That's where I drove that. It was um, some of the rock uh, sections that I did some of the slow uh, crawling video. Oh, the DC one going over the rocks is is right in my backyard. Every rock that I came across, I just stuck. I just stuck in the middle of the track and and just kind of turned it into a partial, you know, rock crawling course and. I'll add more to it. Well, I'm gonna need a ton of hot glue, some yeah. cardboard, and some foam. I'm right. Gonna <laughs> right. I gotta, there's a bunch of woods behind my house. I could probably do some pretty cool crawling stuff out there. Yeah. There's like clay pits and like uh, the cricks out there, and like all kinds of stuff. Right. And get that FPV set up so that we can watch it with you. Yeah. yeah. I know. I know. On the list, man. My list just gets bigger and bigger every time these, yeah, uh, you do these streams, man. It's killing me. Yep. And then Mets tagging me in that mini crawler yesterday on Facebook. 
killing me. Uh, I think the Emax is discontinued, or is it gonna be? Because the Max is taking its place, I believe. I never seen uh, Emax in like person before. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he clicked us on. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. Well, I've got an Emax on the way. What I'll do is post a uh, photo of it in the group. Yeah. And um, it basically reminds you of the T Max, exact same thing. Yeah. Only if you go with uh, revision one or so, the one that I'm getting is a 1 8. So. He basically oh, nice. switched out the chassis, put a Ford Raptor, not quite cod cab, but uh, extended cab on it. It's pretty sweet blue. I said, well, you know what? Between the other one that I was going to convert, I've got spare parts now. That one had the aluminum chassis, and the one on the way he already did up with aluminum or basically the tracks is stock for that revision with the dual battery trays in it. Yeah. So all I've got to do is slap in – um escalator receiver motor servo good to go nice i yeah did they all have dual motors or was was there certain uh, versions had dual motors because i know they used to come with dual motors that was a upgrade that you could put on it i guess if you wanted to do it specifically for speed or crawling depending on your torque and gearing yeah i could have swore they came out of the box or two some of them i wasn't sure though might have been revision too, because I know the original ones that were nitro, it was single. Oh yeah. And then they had the electric conversion kits that you could go either dual or single motor. Hmm. Stock now, was dual. Lottery winnings, so I can get a couple more escalator and motor combinations. Nice. Uh, one fifth. And then I'm going to put them in a one eighth to make sure I've got that over gearing and over torque kind of stuff going on and not have to worry about heat issues. Yeah. And then tune them with the uh, pinion and spur gears until I get them the speed and performance that I want. Oh, yeah. You're like a mad scientist, man. I like it. Always tinkering, man. That's all I know nowadays. You had three from the first, second gen got longer. I, I don't know where the guy go. He just like leaves randomly. I wonder if his computer. It shut probably down. Did, he was going for another link and he did something. And yeah, he man. Did, <laughs> he clicked off and then we took over. So he does it all he the time. You see the name? Subscribe. Motivate me to put down some content. Otherwise, check out my fitness stuff on there. And don't stick with this bad habit. Yeah. Uh, left one stock, all RPM parts. One all aluminum. Yeah, some of the... I like the fact that with Traxxas, I know, like, they're they're shady with stuff, but you can get parts for days for Traxxas vehicles. Oh, there yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I like that, too, because... I was selling the Armas as well, and the Armas are pretty durable to begin with, but you can get replacement parts, but not quite the aluminum hop-ups like you can with Traxxas. Yeah, you can get, there's just parts for days, even for like the discontinued stuff. Like I'm running into issues now of trying to find parts for my Savage, and it's not even discontinued. It's the 4.6X, the mm -hmm. Nitro, but I, but that's just that's just uh, HPI though. They were like, they're hurting right now you there guy with that guy make it rc he tends to uh 3d print and now that they got that technology to print metal parts he might be able to customize some stuff for you yeah he has things with bodies and wheels and tires and all that already so that's an option yeah that's true i was looking at uh people selling the 4.6x just to buy a parts truck so, like, when I do brake stuff and everything, I can just... Because I don't want to say I baby that truck, because I still jump it and do backflips with it and stuff. It's just, I don't want to break something that I'm not going to be able to find. So, mm -hmm. if I had a parts truck, I'll send it, like, 
30 feet, you know what I mean? But I just wanted to make sure I had the parts to fix it. Yeah, that's why I got that other T Max because he already had the transmission and all that on it. So pretty much all I got to do is mount up electronics. And the one that I got that I was fabricating the transmission for, I can pretty much just say, okay, you're the spare parts trucks from wheels to axles to shocks. And even if I wanted to shorten up the chassis and throw something else on top of it for a body, I've got that option now. Oh, yeah. Every now and then I cheat and I say, you know what? Getting another one would be about the best way to go. Yeah. Sometimes it is. Like, I was also looking for a parts Jado, too, because I have, like, an older Jado out in the shed. And uh, just, I'm always looking, you know. you Sometimes you find those good deals. Oh, yeah. And then even if the deal doesn't look too good, like I did with this one, the guy was selling it for, like, 200 And then it was, like, another 35 for shipping. And I was kind of like, ah, I hate undercutting people. But I said, hey, 140 And he was like, um, and then I left a message with it. I said, hey, I like to customize them and upgrade them and go around and wild the neighborhood kids with them. And he was, accepted the offer, counter offered, and changed it to 140 And he was like, yeah, but uh, the front bumper won't be on it. And I was like, well, it was going to be spare parts anyway. So all good to me. Yeah. On the way. And the body, I mean, it's nice. He already wired LEDs on it, so I don't have to do that unless, of course, I go in and go tedious like I do. Yeah. I figured, hey, that's a plus already. All right, House. Have a good night, man. We see you hiding out there. Hey, R. <laughs> what happened, guy? Which view yeah. he wanted. I tried. I tried switching the screen again, and it it uh, crapped out. It gave me a warning again about the um, uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, you need to get that wire ran, man. Yeah, I know. Here I am talking about you know you trenching your wire, and I don't even buy my own. Yeah. <clears throat> All I gotta do is just run it through one floor. If you uh if you were near me, I'd give you the rest of my wire. I got so much at five A, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So this is what we have to start getting Mr. FPV into. Oh yeah. Yeah, Fiscal. You have any Fiscals of Venom or no? None. Fifth scales have been out of my price range for so long. I think it might be um, May of next year before I can even think about getting my hands on one. Oh, yeah. Well, I um, definitely need one. What one would you end up with, do you think? Um, I'd say to start off with either the um, Super Rock Ray or... That there looks really nice. It is. <laughs> it, it, it fits my style of being a desert buggy, you know. Right. This thing's awesome. It really is. It, yeah, they, they're pretty nasty. Man. So if anybody in the group has it in their heart to donate a fifth scale. <laughs> <for me. There laughs> I promise I will upgrade it and. And take very good care of it and polish it up and throw some <laughs> it'll, it'll impossible be FPV. It. <laughs> Yeah, Yeah, I can't wait for the rest of my parts to come in for mine. See, I like working on them just as much as I like running them. Yeah, same, man. About it. I like relaxing in a way, you know what I mean? Just sitting there working on stuff. I heard a click. Is he gone? <laughs> oh, he's still there. Trying to switch it there over. There he is. <laughs> Every time I hear a click, I, I just roll the dice if you're going to show up on screen or not. Pretty much. <laughs> click. Uh, he's gone. <clears throat> yeah, we know when you left, it leaves like this, that little symbol up there of an icon. The little and circle. it takes you off and it makes us switch and flop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to go fifth scale, I'd have to do two through three things. 
find tires, find the funds. Yeah. And then a, a nice wide open area, you know, to get it ripping and running. Cause my max already has most of the traffic in the neighborhood. They'll pull over to the side of the road. If they see it coming, right. it might be something about the way I set up those lights to look like a wicked smile on the front while it's coming at. It. Yeah. It's funny. Cause that, that is one, that is probably the only negative that, that I have. And that negative has kind of disappeared. So I had a roving years ago, um, a gas powered two wheel drive. Just uh, it was called a uh, jackrabbit. That thing was awesome, but it didn't fit in the trunk of my Trans Am at the time. <laughs> so transporting it, transporting it really was difficult. Um, my girlfriend at the time she had a uh, a Plymouth Colt which is a two door hatchback. So it fit better in her car than it did in mine. Mm -hmm. So every once in a while we'd go like down to the, the sand yard and take that thing down there. But most of the time I drove it in the neighborhood and that got, that got played out really fast because of the noise and just the limited space because that's kind of why I didn't get back into that, you know, quarter scale or uh, fifth scale was because of that size. And, I saw the X Max and I was like, "Man, I'd like to get one of those, but it's big, and I just don't. You don't always want to drive somewhere to to drive your RC." Mm -hmm. And I knew that if I had the Max here, the X Max, that I would destroy my lawn. Number one, because I would run out of I'd run out of room in the backyard that I know that I would take it out to the front yard and want to rip it up and down the street. And I just, I saw nothing but bad things happening. So I said, nah, I just won't bother with next max. I just thought it was too big. Then you get as that. Soon, as soon as I saw that though, because of what it was, it was a buggy. It's, it's smaller in a sense, just height wise. Mm -hmm. And it, that that like changed it all. As soon as I got that thing, then it didn't be. It wasn't big anymore. I, I I can't explain it. There were a couple of close places where I could take that thing. I rip it in my front yard when it's snow, so I don't destroy the lawn. Um, I found that I'm really liking fifth scale now. Now it, there's an X Max in your in your shopping cart. Yeah, that's exactly. That's why the X Max is it, and that's why I got the 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 Barca. Because yeah. that thing kicked it off again. It, it's it's that it's that thing, man. There's a certain amount of uh, I want to say there's a certain amount of fear you lose, meaning that full trigger, like when you've got like a like say your max, and there's like I guess you want to say like dangerous terrain. Maybe you'll let off on the throttle a little bit just because you don't want to break it. With that thing, the first time I took it out, I literally, there was no fear. I just was full trigger the entire time. And what that thing did to the terrain and how it handled, it just, it, it took that fear away of, you know, driving it to where, yeah, I broke the front, I broke the front hub, but that was because, you know, it was cold out and it, it may have been fractured, you know, before, who knows, from a, from a bad landing, but. I don't know. I just the the size, the overall size, took away that fear of of the terrain, and it was just like, man, this is fun. This is I'm not having to worry about the terrain. You just you just you just point it and go. I mean, there were there were jumps that I took that thing on, and when it did hit the pavement, I kind of you know would wince a little bit, like ah, oh, I know there's nasty gouges in that aluminum, but. I don't know, man. That that thing changed my mind about how to run fifth scale. I yeah. just even the Barca, I've I've been full trigger in that thing, and it's 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 not it's not as fast as this, just because it's it's gas and it needs help. It needs a it needs a it needs a carburetor and it needs a, an exhaust. Yeah. Just to get that thing moving more. I did buy the 8K clutch for it too. I bought the outer wares for it. So I got the outer wares for it. I bought the clutch. You see it somewhere in this mess. 
I got to put that stuff on too. But getting back into that fifth scale now, like what, what chef said, now I want an X max because you just, you just get hooked. You well, know what I, I mean? Yeah. I want the X max. I start, after I got the max, I was like, man, this thing's right. awesome. I want the big one now. Right. <laughs> Right. Breaking apart, breaking apart the regular Max was just making me realize, man, you know, I'm not, I'm not afraid anymore because of this. You know, I'm not worried about terrain anymore. I'm not worried about throwing in the back of my truck or the track or whatever. You know, it's just throw and go. You know, it's 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 definitely fun. It's a different level of fun. Like your FPV, it's a different level of fun. It's you saw you saw all of us were glued to the screen as you're like driving your, you're driving your Camaro, you're driving your, your crawler. You drive. It's just like, it was great. You know? And now you got two guys that are like, Hey, throw on the dummies, uh, FPV. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so we can Give us a cheater drive, link. Right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't mind sharing. I know everybody will enjoy that. Yeah, the FPV. I'm already going that's... through the trouble of shopping around to find out what's going to work, what's compatible, what works the best, right? And what isn't that expensive? That's what it's all about. You got to spread them smiles. Yeah, well, even even the stupidness of this, the the remote thing, people, it's like it's it's not a secret. Just here, this is what I this is what I use. This is how I set it up. I'll, I'll give you the links for it. I might be able to make like a couple of couple of cents off the purchase if you get it through Amazon. But I'm more than happy to share anything that I know or like that little that little mount right there. I have had that little tiny, you know, mount right there forever. And that thing is awesome. It literally articulates to almost whatever you want it to do. And it's great for GoPros. It's great for your phone. It's great to attach to the, the front of this thing. I've ran... I've ran two Note Note eights on the front of this remote, live streaming on one and recording with the other. <clears throat> yeah, tomorrow's probably gonna be my first uh, experience trying to film and run at the same time. Good, I want to yeah. see. That. Yeah, that'll probably be out before my next video. That's actually up here right now. That's scheduled for Monday, so hopefully I can get. It. It done tomorrow. Oh, I see what you say. So, how did you schedule it? So you scheduled it for yourself in here? No, I have it already uploaded to YouTube, and then I don't have it going live until Monday. Why? My next video, because I, I don't want to like I want to overload my channel with videos like every other day, and then get busy, and then not have another video for like two three weeks. I'd rather get a couple stacked up. And have them come out staggered. So I always have a constant flow. But that's not what's going to happen, though. Because as soon as you start posting your videos, people are going to be poking and prodding you. Especially people that know you now and have contacts. They're yeah, that's like, true. Where's your next video? Where's your next video? And the next video really isn't nothing crazy. It's just like an update on the shed and like me it running the pipe. Chef, that's where it doesn't matter. I'm realizing like even like with this right here, people like to just point blank. No, you become friends with people like in the stream. We're all yeah. friends now. So people want to, if you don't show up, people are going to be like, hey, where'd you go? Yeah. You know what I mean? That's throw true. Us, I know throw us saying. a bone. Throw us a bone. You know what I mean? We don't want to see you, you know, shower or anything like that. But if you do, if you're drinking <laughs> big in the trench for your wire, we want to see how you did it. Show, yeah, true. show us, show us a quick little video. Walk through, just go, and this is what I did, blah, blah, blah. Oh, uh, yeah, you'll see it. You could have even done a video on how you connect up the Ethernet cable. I didn't. I didn't do it yet. I have to add the things tomorrow. Well, they, there's a video for that. Yeah. Why not? You've yeah, got no, the knowledge. Sense. Share it. You know. Yeah, I got you. Makes sense. Yeah, maybe I'll uh put it up. Turn it on. Yeah, I would. It's content. It's content. It's sharing. Uh, my my buddy there, um, Joe Daddy's Garage. For the past couple of years, I've been pushing him going start making more content because your channel's taken off. He has these massive gaps, like almost like two, three weeks of no videos. And I'm like, 
I'm like messaging them not every day, but pretty close to that. I'm like, where's your video? Throw something out there. It doesn't matter what you do. Go live. Let people know you're still there. You don't want your stale, you don't want your channel to go stale. While it's hot, I mean it doesn't matter what it's about. You know what I mean? You want, right, yeah. you want to show them that you're making a grilled cheese sandwich. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I'm I'm still alive. I'm just making a grilled cheese sandwich, having some coffee. Just wanted to say, hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, no, I got you. If that you're makes that, sense. if you're that personal guy, person personable guy, I've but I feel like I've become that through this. Like it's it's helped. Like even like talking to the camera, it's the weirdest thing talking to that thing right there by yourself. You felt like you just pointed at me. All right, right. I'm not a thing. I'm a person. All right. <laughs> I might look like I just crawled out of a cave I yesterday, but right still. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? I just no, I got you. a couple of years ago I did a video about going into Home Depot to look at a toolbox. And I actually watched that video. Dude, it was messed up because here I've got the camera. I'm walking into I'm walking into Home Depot and I'm like looking at people looking at me, and I'm like, these people think I'm like some weirdo with a camera to my face. Yeah. And it did feel weird, but you gotta like you got to like push yourself through it because if you want this to be a source of income, which like right now it is point blank, a source of income, it's not much, but it's something. And I just that, have fun doing it, honestly. Well, that's okay. It, it, that's why I say it becomes a source of income. Once you start seeing the numbers, it's it's uh it's that in it's that human endorphin thing. It's that boost. It's that you know what I mean. It's like oh the numbers are getting up there. Like me hitting two k. It's like holy crap. I mean literally people people actually want to watch me <laughs> monologue in here. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? They want to hear me talking about myself. Yeah, it's just like it's crazy. But, but everybody can also just click the button and shut it off, you know? Yeah. Everybody on the other end has the power to do do whatever, you know? Well, see, my thing is this channel wasn't that large. As a matter of fact, I had, like, maybe three to five subscribers for, like, two, three years. Right. And then I put some content out, and this was, like, back in 2014, 2015. And then I got up to, like, maybe 10 then a couple of them unsubscribed. And then like earlier, well, the later part of last year, I started doing some fitness on there, you know, showing some things for some students that I had in San Antonio as opposed to here in Arkansas. And they got to checking it out and spreading the word. I got up to like 70, 75 subscribers, and it wasn't until about a month or so ago I finally hit 100. So you got to be careful. It almost looks like your house is on fire. I can really go live. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it going. Yeah. I just made it public. What? My video. Did you? Yeah. Nice. But uh yeah, just my main goal is I don't want it to not go like a week without content. You know what it's I mean? It's not it's not going to because you're gonna make sure that you put something out there. Yeah. You have to you, chef, you have to push yourself. Like even every once in a while I'll get into that funk where um, I think it was like about a month ago. I did like live streams. Like I was pretty consistent. I was almost doing like a live stream every other day to every three days or whatever it was. And the way I looked at it was not everybody can come to the live stream on the day that you have it. So why not have multiple? Like with you, the best days, like what you were saying for live streams are uh, Monday night and Wednesday night because you have Tuesday and Thursday off. So, but, but Joe, you know, he, he works those days. So he, the only days that he has off is like Sunday or Saturday. So that a live stream would work good for him. So that's why I feel like I try to do it randomly in a way so that everybody just kind of has a chance to just catch up or jump in or, or whatever. You know what I mean? No, I got you. Yeah. It makes it perfect sense. Even a couple of times doing the live streams for the UK people, that was point blank. My thought, I was like, you know what? It's regular time for UK people, and it's noontime here. I'm just gonna jump on the live stream and just do a do a wrenching video because I know that they're having dinner right now. You yeah. Know what I mean? 
and oh, then yeah. they'll, they'll go on the, the the chat and you know it's um I, this tent this channel definitely was not what it started out as um you guys i think you guys already know this was a drone channel like for my company this was supposed to be about videos and whatever initially then i turned it into a youtube channel just about sharing for my kids kids and their kids so that they would see who i was like when i'm gone yeah you know, as long as youtube didn't take it down <laughs> you know what I mean? but i think what what um what gave me that idea was, have you ever heard of a guy called Diesel Tech Ron? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Diesel Tech Ron. He was, uh, he was basically like your diesel mechanic best friend that he showed you everything. Like anything that a mechanic knows, he basically just showed you on YouTube. He started his, he started his YouTube videos actually in shop. So he had set up a camera and he, and all his early videos really sucked because you couldn't hear anything. All you heard was uh, impact guns and stuff like that, trying to drown out his voice. But his videos kept getting better and better and better. And just one day he was, he was on his way to work and that was it. He actually responded to a YouTuber before he left the house, which I guess made him late. He was oh, responding yeah. to a YouTuber and mm -hmm. he got into a car accident and died. Wow. It's crazy. And like the diesel community like was in mourning. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's sad, man. Because people get close. Oh well, yeah. You know? Like like when I show up on here, if I don't see a steering, makes me wonder, what what's going on with steering? Where is he? Where's Anna? You know what I mean? Yeah. Where's uh voodoo trucking? Where's muscle? Where you know what I mean? You get yeah. used to a certain amount of people showing up and Like a trash ninja looking for the tracker video. <laughs> <laughs> yep. See, my thing was when I got started with it all, it was a matter of that curiosity. I've always been creative being an artist and things like that. I understand right. some of the technical stuff, being a draftsman for a while. And then being a driver, I've always loved cars. Yeah. So Working with model cars, hey, so you can't afford to get the real Camaro, hey, you can get this little $200. That's why RC, man. Yep. And it's a matter of, yeah, I'm on a limited income, but, you know, it might take me like three to six months saving up to get an RC or something like that outside of bills and life. But, you know, you got to do something with your life. And if you're creative and you're keeping your hands and your mind busy, ain't nothing wrong with it. So I get on YouTube and every now and then I have to search around to figure out how to do a couple of things or check out what ideas might interest me. And right. the fact that this platform <laughs> existed, I said, well, I might as well get on there and do a little something to contribute myself in my own way. Yeah. There's just so much, you know, I'm sitting there like, well, what should my channel be about? And I say, well, it's fitness for beginners and those recovering from injuries because that's what I've had to use it for. Right. The things that I show on there is just that. Now, another thing that's therapeutic is if you have a hobby you enjoy, delving off into it enough. You know, you got to take your mind off. Some people have, like you said, uh, fibromyalgia. Well, yeah. I'm dealing with osteo and rheumatoid arthritis. I've had a leg just but everything but severed. Fingers diced up. There's days, you know, when getting out of bed is a challenge. And then there's days when you might think I'm Superman. So yeah. Yeah. I definitely understand. But to have something to take your mind off things, you know, instead of having to go way off into a depressive mood or right. you got to interact, you know what I'm saying? You got to stay active. You know, oh, sometimes yeah. pushing through the pain is a good thing. And then other times you got to know when to sit back and relax and let yourself heal up. So I've been at that tedious balance. And, you know, us jarheads, you know, our heads are screwed on tight sometimes. It's kind of hard to figure out when to relax. And yeah. I'm still working on transitioning to civilianhood 20 plus years later. Yeah. Yep. But I'm thinking, you know, to possibly give my channel a perk and to, uh, I say, speed up some things or whatever. I've got a cash app. You know, I've got a Zelle, things like that. Maybe I could post a link and say, hey, if you mind donating, do that. All funds go for, you know, whatever equipment or things that people want to see. And then I can do announcement videos and let them know what's coming and 
how I'm working with it. If I run into any troubles here and there, I've got guys on YouTube to network with. Right. So if I run into a stump somewhere, hey, all right, I can figure it out. Yep. And other people out there that aren't part of this group can get drawn in. Yep. They can join the Facebook. You know, you can advertise like that. I don't mind helping other people out. Right. Because everybody needs that helping hand. Myself. Man, I tell you, it's days when I'm dealing with migraine so tough, I can barely remember my name. But to be able to concentrate and push through that and still be able to help other folks avoid those headaches, I appreciate it. And right. I don't mind spreading it. Well, like even that RCGG group, the, the whole point of, of, of creating that was just to have a bridge where I noticed that people would come into the chat and people would want to show stuff. But they couldn't unless, you know, then that's why I've switched over to doing a lot of these multi streams. That way, if somebody wants to jump in, they can share stuff. And then obviously I had a set of rules and the set of rules are there because of issues that I've had in the past with creating Facebook groups and whatever and being in other Facebook groups where if you don't have a set of rules, then anything goes. So at least there's an outline that says, you know, this is what we're trying to do. You know, if you if you abide by these rules, like Matt's being funny today on that, he was like, hey, he was like, I thought you I thought there was nothing about self-promotion. <laughs> and it was and I know he was I, he was totally jabbing at me and I knew it as a joke. But and then I I had to say to him as a joke back. Well, if you look at it, it's just a picture. And if you read rule eight, you know what I mean? It's like the whole thing. And it was just like, I'm not actually putting a link. All I'm saying is that here's a video. If you want to go check it out, go check it out. You're going to search, you got to search for the channel. Now it makes it easier on my site only because obviously it's, it's the bridge between my YouTube channel and whatever. That's why it's like, I've even talked. That's why Mets is a moderator. And that's why chef is a moderator because we talked amongst each other. We'll talk about well, we haven't actually talked. Uh, Chef and I haven't talked about the rules yet, but we've I've talked with Mets a couple of times about you know even though the rule is there, what we don't want is the reason why the rule is there. It's just to say, hey, if you're coming into the site to literally just spam it with your YouTube videos every single day, every five seconds, that's not what it's about. Yeah. Then we'll then we'll cut you out, like um uh. I was talking with about a specific uh, individual that that's on the group and he posts his YouTube videos, but, and that's why I had a conversation with Mets. That's why it's good to have another head in the group to say, Hey Mets, what do you think? And he's, and he's like, well, you know, it's not like he's, you know, going nuts doing it every day. It's, you know, every other day or every three days. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I don't have a problem with that. That's, that's, that's what I was trying to stay away from. I just didn't want somebody to come in and start just literally every single second of the day. Just using really, it as a commercial. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you see like um, on Facebook, they have these, what they call yard sale groups. Yeah. And yeah. Well, initially when the yard sale group starts out, it's okay. And I, I joined a couple of them. And then all of a sudden, it's the yard garbage. sale groups become real estate groups. And it's yep. like, I don't, I don't want to know about your house in Florida or Cancun. I'm on here. I'm looking for a Camaro. I'm looking for a vet. I'm looking for a Chevy truck. I'm not, I'm looking for yard sale type items. And car and uh car dealerships you do that now too. And right. like motorsports mm -hmm. like quads is the you go looking for a quad, you're gonna find dealers. like yeah, yeah like, car dealer listing like every car they have in their lot, and it's just like I just go over to the group and just go click, see you later. Yeah, you mm -hmm. ruined a good thing. Because I, I was part of this, and I think the, the rules thing, what, what started it for me was um, one of the sites that I belong to is um, um, First Gen Camaro Connection. And literally, it is only about the first generation Camaro. Well, when I first joined, I started posting pictures of my Camaros and stuff like that, and everything was cool. And I then one day posted a picture of my mother's 60 uh, 68 firebird well because in my head i said well it came off the same assembly line the firebird is a camaro but just with a different interior different tail lights and different nose it's the same damn car so i posted my mother's command my mother's uh uh firebird on there and it got blocked and i was just like 
the hell? So I, I messaged the, the owner of the group and I'm like, Hey, I'm like, I just posted a thing. Um, I'm not sure what happened. We got blocked and he goes, I blocked it. And what I was like, why? He was like, cause it's not a Camaro. Did you read the rules? I went, yeah. I said, but it's a firebird. And he goes, but is it a Camaro? And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't, but see, the thing is though, is that I, I joined the group. So I, I said, I'll abide by these rules. Now, as soon as I broke them, he had every right to block my thing. So then what he ended up doing was he said, if there's, if there's a picture, which is part of my rule, if, if you want to post a picture of something that doesn't have anything to do with an RC, make sure somehow an RC is in it. <laughs> and it's like, it just makes it easier. So, <laughs> what I did is I posted my mother's car with like a picture of my car. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Because then it was within the rules and he was like, he was like, that's okay because you're at least in the rules. Now, if I see you posting every single day, firebirds, I'm going to ax you. <laughs> but, you know, I, you, know, obviously, you know, being a son, I was, you know, totally proud of, proud of my mother for, you know, everything that she did. Single mom. She raced at New England Dragway. She took care of me her entire life. Um, she actually is the reason why I like first generation Firebirds and Camaros. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mookie and the Bandit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Ninja said he left uh, RC groups on Facebook because they swore, they swear and bash companies and people too hard and not right. in like a fun pokey way. Like they're just rude. Right. And that's and that's the other thing too. That's part of the rules. Just don't don't bring it here. If you don't have anything good to say, just just don't. Go 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 somewhere else. You yeah, know? you definitely got a good community going, guy. Yeah. Everybody everybody's very respectful. Everybody is is helpful. That's the one thing that I that I love about it. Somebody's got a question. Somebody posts a question on there. It's like all of a sudden there are answers, you know? People try to help, and that's that's awesome. You know, yeah. Like definitely. like 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 Venom here. I mean, you know, he doesn't have to post his his anything. He, yeah, this is all my stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now he just posted the the FPV for dummies. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. I'm I'm totally pumped to check it out. Mess, did you see that the FPV post he did for dummies it has like everything we need? I'm psyched for that because You're I've grouped into that, by the way, <laughs> I've tried, I've tried FPV and, but I just, I couldn't That'll, it'll make it simple, plug and play. And right. it avoids that issue. You were saying about having the goggles on and then worrying about getting kind of motion sickness, right? Because it's a standalone monitor with a sunscreen <laughs> on it. Yeah. It's got an internal battery on it. So it USB recharges the transmitter camera, and uh, wiring harness that's part of the camera unit is pretty much plug and play to JST. So yep. then I put a link in for the batteries so that if they order them fast enough before they run out, not only will they be endurance to sell to power it pretty much like what I was transmitting last night. And it'll allow them to be able to just plug the battery straight on in. Right. Matt Make said all that stuff's already in his cart. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you know you can only like your Dude. your scrolling finger on your mouse is gonna be. It's gonna it's gonna so burn. Yeah, this there's no shot. there's no way you can get to the bottom of that ever. It goes on forever. It used to be like my driving record. <laughs> <laughs> my driving record was horrible. Oh, that was a very inexpensive gear that works well, and as y'all saw, you know when I was putting it on live stream, decent range and everything else. Only issues that I was having was when I walked away from my Wi-Fi in my apartment too far out into the street or something. It was cutting me off from the stream. Right. But yeah. other than that, the transmission between the uh, goggles and the camera transmitter, you got, at least, you got at least 300 feet. So I'd say what is it? Um, 70, something like that yards. It's a pretty decent system. And, you know, when different Wi-Fi bubbles and things like that are going, it may cause a little interference, which is why it's best to run them outside or whatever. But I had them going indoors and outdoors just to show you the effect. Right. 
Yeah, it was definitely really cool, man. It's, I I got it. I got to get a setup. Well, it's all there available, and that'll get some more people to join the group. Then I'll have somebody to scratch my head and say, "Um, how do you do that?" Yeah. You'll probably get a message from me at some point. Uh, okay, everything's plugged in, but I have no video. What's going on? Ah, uh, usually if that's the case, on the uh, monitor, it's set up to automatically receive. You can power cycle if you're having any issues with it connecting with the camera mm -hmm. by turning the monitor off and then back on. And on the transmitter itself, there's a button so you can change the um, channel that it's on or the band. And it comes with little simple instructions so that you'll basically be a professional right out the box. Nice. If you plug and play. I like how he says that. You'll be a professional right out of the yeah. box. <laughs> Only thing you got to do that's halfway difficult is figure out where you want to position it at on your rig. How you're going to get it strapped down to make sure it's decently ventilated. And if you have any rollovers or crashes so that you don't damage your lens, that's, that's about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what made me think putting that thing on a swing arm was going to be a good idea? Hey, let me learn, man. <laughs> it started out good, too. It was just like it was swinging. It was getting good. And all of a sudden, it just locked in right behind the wheel. And I, I didn't know. I was just full trigger. And you hear it. You hear the glass shatter. Then all of a sudden you see the glass break away and all of a sudden you see a, a nice clear picture and then it just turns to dust. <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. The first time I put an FPV transmitter and camera on a drone that I built, I forgot to uh, zippy tie the wires down <laughs> and it flew and it looked good looking through the goggles, flying it until all of a sudden everything was gone. Went oh, black. Oh no. No. And I take the goggles off and then I'm crashing. Oh God! Yep. It ain't nothing like putting FPV on a car, and yeah. you run it and you throttle up, and then you realize that um maybe you shouldn't have, have put it too close to the wiring to the motor because oh. when the motor got hot and it melted the wires. Ooh. Oh man, there we go. So run all your wires and clean up your installation once you get it set up. Packing tape works wonders. There you go. That. Zippy ties. Zippy ties. See, that's going to be the new word. <laughs> you need a zippy tie shirt. Zippy tie. So that you can press the, oh, hey. the actual screen eye through, and you can position it right, and then you can either use foam or who knows. You can use RTV silicone, you know, set it up in position just right, turn it on to test the view angle and all that, yeah. seal it in place, and then you're good to go. This chef, this would actually probably be a shirt for your channel. It's a uh, diehard zippy tie yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be hysterical. Yeah. Those things are used good all over the hobby. You know, I've used them on my drone builds. I've used them oh, yeah. on the cars and trucks, crawlers. I've used them to install FPV. And yeah, it works. Yep. Yep. Now what I'm going to do is start getting into those little hinges that are like um, brass or bronze or whatever color, you know, and tacking those on just right onto my crawler doors so that I can actually have opening doors on my vehicles. Yeah. Use magnets to hold them closed when I want them closed. Yep. Yep. Uh, that'd be really cool. That'd be cool. But, also, right. it'll be easier instead of taking out the pins, you know, to unplug a battery or change a battery at times. Right. All right, guys. I'm going to hop off. It's almost one. Yeah, that's actually one of the things that I was looking at, too. I'm like, four hours? That's good. Yeah, it was another good stream, guy. Your, your live streams are legit, man. Yeah, they're getting there. But, guys, it was a pleasure once again. Everybody in chat, have a good night. All right, Chef. It was take good to see you, man. Yep. Y'all take it easy. All right, Venom, Trash Ninja, STL. STL, how long have you been here for? Did you just show up? <laughs> I'm guessing you must have just shown up, too. <laughs>
Uh, I'm actually going to end the live stream. It is now quarter of one, and that uh, that bed's a little a little lonely for my wife. <laughs> so, right, absolutely, man. Thank you for coming. All right, everybody. Trash Ninja Mats STL. Who else we got here? Says we got still 13 people on here, which is nuts. Maybe House on Homestead is here. Let's see. Who else? Mr. Aliende. I think you might be here still. Not sure. Ronnie. But um, I'm just going to take off. Again, thank you for coming to the live stream. It's always, it's always good. Uh, these live streams will be coming nuts. I am going to actually have to pay for the paid version because um, – Last month, I actually went I went five hours over on my allowance on the live stream. So I don't know if that's like a rollover effect or whatever. Um, but, you know, the stream seemed to be, you know, the stream seemed to be getting on. I mean, four-hour live stream, five-hour and 40-minute live stream before. The other ones were like three hours, three and a half hours. It's just, it's just fun, you know, talking about just whatever. It doesn't always have to be. Right, Zoom or StreamYard? Well, I don't know. I've tried. I tried something else. I forget what I what I, I tried the light stream. Um, I'm just I don't know. I might I might just stick with StreamYard. It seems easy. Maybe I should check out Zoom. I did try Light Stream, which Light Stream was way more crystal clear, but because I run a Mac. There's no, there's no application to make it easy. Everything is like literally adjusted by, it just didn't, it, it, it didn't work. It wasn't, it wasn't intuitive enough for me to be able to do it like this. It's just like clicking buttons to switch between people and change screens. And it's just definitely easier. So, but, um, I've been here for 10 minutes. I'm sorry, man. I didn't even see you feel like crap now. <laughs> oh man. Sorry about that. That's what happens, man. You get like zoned in and I'm trying to read comments and something will fly by and check out Zoom before you buy. All right, I'll check it out. I've got no problem with that. What makes all right, so what makes you say that? See, so you, you're reeling me in, brother. What makes you say Zoom over over StreamYard? Just to check it out? Do you know? I know people have tried Zoom. The thing is, is obviously, you know, like like what I was saying, the only reason why I would do a paid version is because already, you know, I'm into four hours and we're only in the first week. So, and I know I'm going to just blow that out of the water just to check and see. All right. I didn't just didn't know if you had like personal knowledge of, of it or whatever. The other thing too, that I forget the microphone is like right there. So I don't know if I'm like yelling into the mic. See, like when Tony talks, Tony from CCX. He has the mic like this, and his voice is very low. <laughs> his streams always sound awesome. So I don't know if mine sounds like garbage. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna go. If I if I stay in, <laughs> I know, I know, right, Mets? He has a soothing RC voice. What is it? RC propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm just going to end the stream. Again, like I said, thank you very much for coming. And uh, it's a pleasure to have everybody here. The celebrity, I know. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just going to end it. See you later. I think it ends like this.